What is your ideal first first car? Ideal first car, anything that you can afford. <laughs> that's the ideal first car. <laughs> let's let's put our pockets at the same place. Let's say ten thousand rands. That's my earning. Ten thousand. You are earning ten thousand rands. Yeah. You have no business buying a car. Hey, my daughter, I'm staying at home. Let me remove. Let me remove the burden off my shoulders. You take out four thousand there for insurance. You're left with six. Yeah, man, I'll be fine. One thousand for insurance. Oh, half of your salary is gone. Yeah, I have a car. <laughs> <laughs> then you eat pop and eggs every day. King King David Studio podcast. Because I do a lot of YouTube videos, I equally uh, watch a lot of videos on YouTube. And this is this young man <laughs> who caught my attention, uh, Umu Zisambo. Uh, you've probably seen his videos. And, you know, I, I, I celebrate people whose work I think is just amazing. And I'm sure he knows by now that his work is amazing. And that's why I asked him, do you mind coming to hang out with me at Mpumalanga Tandot? Mpumalanga is not America. I'm sure you can make a plan. <laughs> so he's here. Umu, uh, is I am not. Uh, it's such an honor, man. I'm a, I'm a fan of your work. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. we are not. Uh, <laughs> I want my even, time. Even Saul, even Saul is, is also a fan of mine. Oh, it's really? Yeah. Oh, Saul Penduga, of, uh, they're recording outside. So oh, you'll, yeah. we'll go say hi when we're done here. I would really love that. <laughs> yes. I would really love that. This YouTube thing, where did it start for you? What happened? Yo, YouTube is, is actually started from like back in varsity. Really? Yeah, I didn't start this YouTube thing now. Uh. So what happened was... Uh, when I started uh, varsity, you know, there's usually like computer literacy classes for like every first year student. Okay. You have to like take a uh, computer literacy class. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. now with me, I did computer literacy in grade eight and nine. Okay. So, so you were done. I was already good with computers. So yes. when we're attending those computer literacy classes, I mean, I would just be searching cars there. <laughs> and that's when I discovered the cars configurators. Okay. You know, there's those things where you log on to like a manufacturer's website and then you oh, click yeah, on yeah. a Pima that you love and you change the specs. You can create your yeah, own. You create your own thing yes. car and see how much it would cost you. Yeah. So yeah, it's something that's like... That's what you were doing. That, that's where it all started, the YouTube thing. That, that's where it all started. Then, obviously, every car guy watches like your cars.coza, your car wow, and things uh -huh. like that. Yeah, that's where I started with YouTube. And your first video, what was it? Was do you obviously you would remember it? Yeah. We can always go search for it. Actually, I did not start with cars. Ah, yeah, when I started YouTube, uh, I started with music. Okay. Yeah, I was a music guy. The guys that I went to to varsity with, they know me as a DJ. Oh, so I started <laughs> YouTube with music. So you were impressed by the stuff here? Yeah, yeah. when we were walking around here, you were showing around your house, there's like... There's DJ equipment everywhere. All over, yes. all over, all over the house. So yeah, I uh, I happened to stumble upon this other folder. I don't remember where I got the folder from. Yeah. It was like a folder full of underground music. Like some of those music was not even released. Jeez. Like back in 2014, when piano was not really like yeah, a national yeah. thing, I had like a folder full of piano like but M for souls so wow. i had that thing that's when i started like the djing thing mm. so i started youtube with djing i was making like house mixes and oh. posting them every friday so every friday i was making a mix because now we were attending like from morning until about four mm. then after four we were free to do our own things and in varsity is like free wi-fi when you're at rest oh, free wi -Fi. which university is this uh, i must i must take Medun. my kids there oh Medun. okay yeah, so <laughs> medical they, student as well yes, yes you will yes. talk about we that. will get to that we'll yes. get to that so yeah when you are introduced to free wi-fi we are there like you you do whatever you want mm -hmm. so you start by watching movies you download movies you get tired of these things of you do music i'm like hey, this music thing i know <laughs> i think it's going to work yeah so yeah eventually i started then doing the the teaching yeah. doing the mixes yeah, so I was using that opportunity because I, 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 I told myself, God, no, man, I have this Wi-Fi. Yes, why not? So I, I was thinking to myself, what is it that I can do mm. with, with this Wi-Fi that can be beneficial to me? Because mm -hmm. you can't just always be like watching porn and pirating movies and whatever. <laughs> you watch your porn and eventually I'm like, I just, you're tired of yeah, it. Yeah, no, yeah, it's too much now. <laughs> yes. Let me try something else. Yes. So that's when I started the uh, YouTube. Was it to make money or what was, I always wonder why people want to put their work 
on the world platform like YouTube? What was your reason? I'm a person who loves music. Uh. Yeah, I, I love house music. So, But you wanted to share it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I grew up around computers. Like my friend had like a computer in his house. And yeah. it's, it's an unusual thing for a guy to have a computer. Of course. Of course. So he had the, the visual DJ program in his computer. And okay. we used to go there and like play with that thing. So <laughs> yeah, I was used to the keys. So when I got to Varsity, because... I also had a laptop. You know, when you go to visit, everyone in Varsity yeah. has a laptop. Huh. So I also installed that program in my laptop yeah. and I used to play with it when I'm bored just mm. to refresh my mm. mind. But eventually I was like, ah, I can somewhere just put this thing on YouTube. Because yeah. I was seeing some mixes on YouTube that are bad, like a quite bad <laughs> mix. I'm like, I can do better, better than, than that. Better than this guy. And they have mad views. Yeah. Like when you see like work of poor quality with mad views, I'm like, man, I can do better than mm. that. You start questioning why yeah, don't you do why it? Why am I sitting like, yes. But because I, I know I can do better than that. Yeah. So that's when I started doing that thing. And I was teaching when we're like throwing parties, you know, varsity life, you throw parties. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I used to DJ there and I had like, a bang sound system. I used wow. to get in trouble at dress section. <laughs> For that, you were that guy. Yeah, I was that guy. Securities <laughs> were always coming to my room and be like, hey, if you don't switch this thing off, we're coming to confiscate exactly, this thing. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah, I was one of those guys. Medunsa, what happens there? What was the plan there? Yeah, it's it's actually crazy because I didn't really want to go to Medunsa. Yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, I wanted to be a lawyer, Grand Chap. And then? Hey, you know, parents, Muna. Uh, parents, they, they, they scared me. Like, yeah, if you become a lawyer, but talk bulala, dogs will come for you. So oh, I got this I'm like, yeah, they I know. scared you. Yeah, yeah this law thing is not going to <laughs> They right. thought you were going to be that good yeah. that people would want to kill you. <laughs> they want to kill me, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they said, no, that thing is a bad idea. I got discouraged. Yeah. But then in metric, the crazy thing is that I secretly applied for LLP. Ah. But I did not tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> and they accepted me for LLP. That was the first acceptance I got. And you and kept it quiet. It was a secret. So in my options, I had uh, BDS, which is your Bachelor of Dental Surgery. Okay. I had uh, Pharmacy. I had Optometry, Electrical Engineering, and the uh, LLP. That was a You were a maths and science guy at, at, at yeah. high school. Yeah. Yes. I don't know why I wanted to do law, but law was my thing. Like, yeah. I wanted to do law, but I got discouraged. <laughs> I was like, no, it's, going, it's not going to work. Wow. Then I got the acceptance for the law, kept it a secret. Yeah. And then I was thinking, Urpela, if these other things don't work out, it's a must that I must tell these guys what I apply for this thing. Mm. And then I then a, <laughs> a response for the farmers came. Yeah. At the time I'm in metric, it was around September during the time we had the trial exam. Okay. So Medunza said, no, we've considered you for the pharmacy, but now you have to come for an interview mm. so that we can see if you are fit for yeah. for, uh, for the placement and whatever. Yeah. But now the thing is, I didn't know anyone copy Tori. Hey. I didn't even have the money. And you're in Pumalanga, there. boy. Like, imagine. It's a, it's a big travel. Yeah, we are there. We are a ruler, boy. You, you, <laughs> don't, you don't know anything. Yeah. So I couldn't make it. I was like, I, I'm not going to do Jeez. that thing. And then mm, the one from uh, KZN, it was the... Which one? Electrical engineer. Yes. That, that acceptance. Which came. school is that? Yeah, it was UKZN. Okay. UKZN. That's where I went to school. You went to UKZN. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> then it was different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> then I got the acceptance for the electrical engineering. Yeah. They said, now you must pay 500 to secure your space. Yo. But I was like, nah, this is not what I want to do. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm in Pumalanga, boy. I always believed that I wanted to work back home. Okay. So if I do this electrical engineering thing, I will have to find myself going to work in Josie. Oh. Yo. These things. And I don't want to be a Jersey these, guy. These. My dad was a Jersey guy. He did not end well. So yeah. I didn't want to end up like him. <laughs> so I wanted to work like back at home. So like I hope, I hoped Guru they were going to accept me for the PDS, okay. which, which was my first choice. Mm -hmm. So eventually that acceptance for the PDS came and I was like, yeah, I'm going. <laughs> I, I'm definitely going. They wanted like a, a deposit, yeah, 2.5 okay. to secure the space. Yeah. They didn't have that 2.5. That's Medunza. Yes. Yeah. They say, yeah, you must come. It was still around September. 
Sure. It was a provisional acceptance that we're accepting you pending the outcome of, of the your, final mm -hmm. results. Of course. I'm like, no, I'm taking this one because yeah, I this is <laughs> this is the real thing. I'm going to be a doctor, but I don't have to go through that long years. Yes. Yeah, and I'm not gonna be <laughs> delivering babies and whatnot. <laughs> All right, you it's a shortcut. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, I eventually yeah, I took that one. Yeah. And we found a way to like raise that two point five that we did not have. You probably don't even know how how. I don't I don't remember, but yeah, yeah we made a plan. And we paid the 2.5, we secured the space and I ended it in my dunes. And you finished your degree? I'm a doctor, I'm a dentist. I've been practicing for four years. Amazing, eh? Yes. So you look at my teeth and you're thinking... You were wearing braces and I'm like, this guy's just straight. <laughs> Why is he wearing... Is it like fashion or something? I can tell you what happened. I, I, I'm, a, I'm finicky with my teeth. Mm -hmm. I go to, to dentists a lot. It's a thing that I've had better part of my adult life. When I was at varsity, mm -hmm. actually when I was young, yeah, I had very bad teeth. So I, when I got to varsity, uh, my mom said, you know, you can do this with that medical aid thing. I said, oh, hey, yeah. why not? <laughs> so I did, mm -hmm. but I didn't finish it. I didn't finish the course. Oh, I yeah. finished the degree before I finished the, the, the fixing of the teeth. I came back at Joburg, life carried on. I always had in the back of my mind that my teeth needs to be fixed uncomfortable that thing yeah it's too tedious so you you look at people's mouths every day that's what i do for a living i yank out teeth monday to friday january to december imagine that that's why i ended up doing cars i'm like no it's not teeth every day <laughs> no, no, no. you need to do something else something on the else side to refresh my mind because oh man. why don't you carry the doctor title on your on your videos no, I, I don't really like to be, it's uncomfortable for me, even at work. You don't want to be... I don't, I don't want to be called Dr. Sam. I'm called MJ, that's my initials, MJ. And you're if, happy if, with if that? If you go to my hospital looking for Dr. Sambo, you can't find him. Ah, no, no. But if you say MJ, ah... But what's, what's so uncomfortable about it? I don't know, I, I don't know. I, there are people who want honorary doctorates. I don't know. I and don't. when you don't want one that you end at school. What's wrong with I don't you? like it. it, it feels weird. <laughs> what is Especially when the old guys like call you, hey, Dr. Delaini. I'm like, hey, no, I'm not doctor. <laughs> don't call me Dr. MJ. You must oh. enjoy it, Dr. Sambo. Damn it. We are, <laughs> we're going to repeat it so many times on this video, you'll get used to it. MJ. Call me MJ. <laughs> Dr. Sambo. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's, so now, the interest in cars, where... Did your parents have cars? Did neighbors have cars? Not really, not really. The, it's, it's the thing of, we already, you know, as black kids, the only two toys you care about is a toy car mm -hmm. and a toy gun. That's so true. It, it starts from there. Those toys, you grow up with them, and with time, they get like bigger mm -hmm. and expensive. Mm -hmm. But now, at a younger age, I didn't really understand the gun part. Uri, where does this gun thing? <laughs> why is this? Coming? Why should this be fun? Yeah, but now after <laughs> buying the GTI, I realized that no man. When you have a nice car, mm. you must also have a nice gun. Because <laughs> the car is so old. the connection yeah, eventually yeah, I made eventually sense. Eventually made the connection. Yes. Oh, when you have a nice car, you must have a nice gun because the boys are going to to be troubling you. Yes, that's Because your nice cars like they draw a lot of attention with the GTI. I was driving to like a, a mall. Yeah. I park all of a sudden, someone is knocking on my window. Hey, Rotman, they even call you Rotman. Mm. Hey, Rotman, can I take pictures of your car? I'm like, yeah, when? Don't be sneaking up on me. What's like wrong that. with you? You can't do that. Eh? <laughs> wow. Oh God, it's, it's scary. That thing is scary. So but, owning a GTI was a problem for you? Yeah, I was paranoid. I was paranoid. That car, you feel like any minute someone can just someone come in. But nothing happened. N nothing happened. And you owned it for a bit. Yeah. I was, uh, yeah well, you know the story if you watch my videos. Oh, how long is it? Tell us. So everybody uh, knows here. It, it was about a month or so. That's not long. Yeah, because I bought it in March. In April, it had problems. They took it away. It stayed at the dealership. They couldn't fix it. They gave me a new one. After a month, problems. I'm like, no, I'm selling these things. Did you lose money? Yeah, around the 30K. From what you paid and what you what yeah, you sold it yeah, for? Yeah, for around 30K. But, you left uh, it with the same dealership? Same dealership. They made money. Yeah. <laughs> it's short term, though. Yeah. yeah, it's short term. Because it'll come back with more problems. Yeah, Whoever yeah, buys yeah, it. Yeah, it, it will come back to bite them. Yes. The internet doesn't forget. No. It will never. What was your first car? <laughs> My first car was actually a secondhand Polo Vivo. So you're a VW guy? I've been a VW guy. Even now, I'm still lucky a VW guy. Really? Yeah. But what is it about VW? <laughs> 
low key VW guy. <laughs> what is what VW do? What is, what is it about VW? I can tell you from from Pretoria. You drive through Mamelodi within two minutes, you know that everybody here loves VW. So what was it about you? That, those are the cars that we grew up around. Like. Yeah. Kokasi, the only cars that you see there, Kiri Kushesh, your your VR6, the mm. GTIs. So there was this other guy who owned the Golf Golf Six. Yeah, it was a Golf Six GTI. Mm. He was the only guy like Kokasi with a GTI, and he drove that car for a long time. It was red. Yeah, I think he also like sort of inspired the color of my GTI yes. because I used to see that guy. He was called Fix. He was the only guy. Yeah. Yeah, ew, and he drove that car for a long time. Even when I was still in Vasita, I would go back home and see that car. I'm like, you. And it still looked good. Fresh. Wow. Fresh. So that's why I thought, Kurma, this is the brand that I want. Mm. And you know, Frupas, you know what they <laughs> say. Yeah, so, yeah. Do you know, once I was driving from uh, Bloemfontein mm -hmm. uh, from a gig and I stopped at the, the Lotto was 120 million rands that weekend. And mm -hmm. I stopped, couldn't start to, to buy a lotto, a, 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 a lotto ticket. Because mm -hmm. I thought, you know what, if we don't play this one, something is wrong with us. Because mm -hmm. Nia's like, nah, you want 120 oh, million rands. I stopped at this, there was a long queue in some shop in couldn't start. There was a guy behind me, I asked him, what are you going to do with the money should you win? You do realize 120 million. He couldn't afford the GTI. He said, he said, that's the only thing we care about. He didn't see beyond that. That's in, that's incredible. That's all you need. And now the transition from the guy who does music videos. Did they do well, by the way? Yeah, I, I was sort of laughed, but my channel didn't really do well. But I, I actually thought I was going to like take this that music thing far. But now when I started working, we are a doctor now, we are making serious money. I'm like, what's YouTube? Mm. And also what happened is that uh, around uh, 2018, yeah. they changed the YouTube policies. So, with you know, music. Yeah, with music, there's always like copyright strikes. That's and it. I didn't understand those things. I thought you can somehow just play anyone's music. Because mm -hmm. that's what DJs do. Prince KP can be playing a Shimza song. Oh, and, yes. and it's clean. So that's exactly what I was Very doing. different time, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was doing that thing where we are just playing piano, go, move, whatever, whatever. Yeah. But then my channel got demonetized because of that copyright thing. So I'm like, ah, now I'm just doing videos for free. I'm a doctor. So you walked in barely with monetization as part of the deal. From day one, yeah. And previously with YouTube, you didn't need the 1,000 and 4,000. Yeah. 4,000. No, you didn't need, none of that. You didn't know. As soon as you post the first video, you were paid. Wow. From day one. <laughs> so I chowed YouTube money for some time back in first seat. <laughs> then they demonetized me. I'm like, I'm out. Yeah. And you left. Yeah. And I was chowing the dentistry man. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but then the bug, the YouTube bug was always in the back of your yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, they, they, I didn't take down the channel, by the way. They just demonetized, but the platform was still, still there. there. The videos were there, getting views. There was this, this video that had like a million views. It was a go mix like you. I was broken when I had to delete that video. <laughs> hey, I was I was broken. Like it it did really well. Wow. I posted that mix when like Kom was a thing. Of course. It, it did really well. Yeah. A million views. I was like. And you couldn't make money from it. I couldn't. And I had to take it down because of the strike. I'm like, hey, let me delete that. So I deleted everything. everything and started from zero. From zero. Did you have a decent subscriber base? I think it was somewhere around the 5,000 region. That's not bad. It was, yeah, it was somewhere there. Yes. And then I didn't just switch to cars, by the way. Yeah. I switched from music to like proper Hey, my dot. Your houses and whatever. Because during that time, I was also looking for a house. Ah. So I was checking out these nice houses. I'm like, hey, this is content. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you see, like, As you walk into those houses, like, I'm like, hey, keep content. Like, then. So you like, could walk with your phone. Hey, I'm like, hey, it's <laughs> what, what estate. I'm like, hey, this is nice yes. content. So yeah, I did that for like, uh, I think I posted like four yeah. like, property videos. Are they still there? Took them down. I'm a dot. All right, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> yeah, I posted the first one, five views. Ha. That time my career, the channel already had like 5,000 subscribers. Uh. I posted a video, five views. I'm like, where are these 5,000 people? <laughs> I post another one, 10 views. Like, hey, my dot. Something is not right. Well, I'm talking nice houses. Yes. I'm like, you got, are these people not seeing this thing? Or maybe there's <laughs> something wrong with me. Jeez. Post another video, 25 views. I'm like, no, this thing is not going to work. Similar style of, of 
and you narrate. No, I was not narrating. Yeah. It was just a walk around with a background song. Oh, nothing some more. Some text. Yeah, yes. like a two bedroom, one million. Yeah. And it was just the, the clips and the background music. Started the third video, I was like, nah. This thing is not going to work. And also finding these nice houses, like to continue going for it's not easy. It's going to be a problem yeah. because you find like a ghost house. I'm like, this thing is not content <laughs> with. <laughs> what will I? So you'll have to do this often. Yeah, yeah. I can't keep up with these things. Even if I can get a video that will go viral, but I can't keep up with this thing. Yeah, yeah. So then I went to like this one other dealership. Because I wanted to rent a park to move around because I move around a lot. Like yeah. I started working somewhere else and I achieved a switch. Like, okay. so I was checking a park and then I saw, uh, what's the car? Toyota Hilux Legend. Okay. Yeah, that's the car that I saw and I like that car. I, I took some videos of it <laughs> and I also did a Ranger and posted that thing in the channel. No commentary, nothing. It was just the clips and background. That thing, boom, it got 10,000 views. What? Double way, way better of, than the house. Double the number of subscribers I had at that time. Yeah. Because I had like 5,000 subscribers. Uh -huh. And I post this video. No, it was like one minute long. It's there in my channel. People can so much just browse. <laughs> Go to yeah, the beginning. You, yeah, you will see yes. there. I did that Hilux. No commentary, nothing. It was just the clips and the background music. Boom. And I'm like, okay, this thing is going to work. Uh -huh. The car thing. Yeah, there's something here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I did another one. Same style. Did another one, same time. Look, like, okay, this thing is working. But yeah. now, Kari, I'm just doing the same thing and it, it, it gets boring. Yes. So I, I Even have, for you. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing that you're doing. You're not really making an impact. Yeah. And sometimes those those views are like, ah, uh, are not really a true reflection of what's happening because yes. someone can just click, click and once. not watch the whole thing. So it's just a click, not a view yeah. necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, what can I do to like capture the attention of people? I'm like, mm. okay, then I must start adding commentary yes in the videos and the first commentary video i did was actually my car the polo vivo i own okay that's the first it's commentary. still there it's still yeah. there people can go and check it yeah it's still there so i started i was a bit shy you know when you're starting you don't know it's awkward <laughs> it's awkward we're actually watching those videos with me and my lady and we're laughing it's just, i'm still it's, shy now it's, doing it's, this stuff it's, it's embarrassing <laughs> when you go back and look at some of your old videos i'm like what was i thinking i wanted to move a lot of the videos to out of time <laughs> No, no, that one is actually showing you where there's progress. I mean, I'm going to keep them there. Yeah. Because when you look back, you see where I'm coming from that and now I'm here. That's it shows it. that there's, there's growth. Somewhere. So I'm going to leave them there. Yeah. You know, some of them are still catching smoke because there's things I was saying there. <laughs> <laughs> and your commentary, the style of your commentary is, is quite unique. And it's some, I, I call it fun and funny. I, I got to the guys here at the office to watch it over the past few days. And they said, wow, man, this guy is, is really interesting to watch. What yeah. inspired the style? Or is it just your personality? Ah, it's a combination. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, yeah, yeah it's both. But then now, with YouTube, because I started YouTube when I was still in Facet. So mm. I studied the platform for quite some time. So it's not really about the content that I make myself. Yeah, I studied the the platform, how it yeah. works, the algorithm, mm. the, you know, what happens in the back end, your click-through rate, your retention. All of that. Yeah, so now you have to be interesting because it's not really about the equipment and the cinematographic. What None of that. It's about the story that yeah. you're telling. That's that, true. Yeah, that's what captures an audience. Yeah. So I realized, well, no, man, if you want to capture an audience, I don't have drones, I don't have quality sound, so how can I capture an audience? Mm. Bring in a story. <laughs> so that's how I capture my audience then. So... Yeah. I must tell you, I like the finance uh, twist to it. You didn't mm -hmm. start that way. Yeah, I, I didn't. Like, I, I'm, I'm pivoting, like, every single time. Like, I'm taking, like, a different break. Yes. Because now, when you do, like, repetitive stuff, it, it gets boring. Yes. Because with YouTube, like, I, I told you now that I've studied the platform and how it works, yeah. what you should do with the algorithm. So with YouTube... The, if you want to grow fast, mm. you have to keep on trying different things. Yeah. Keep on trying different things. Because if you like do the same thing, your, your content is only going to be appealing to the same, same audience. audience. Yeah, and but, it shows you mm -hmm. also that um, same people came back yeah. to watch this to, one. Yeah, retaining subscribers. Absolutely. And so you get to see all those things yeah. in the back end. So I'm like, okay, if I branch and do this, okay, now I'll capture a different audience. Mm. If I branch and do this, I'll capture a different audience. That's why it's, I'm mostly doing budget cars. Yeah. But sometimes I 
get like a ridiculously expensive car and mm. I'm like yeah, in today's episode of a car we can't afford so now I'm also <laughs> capturing those guys who are just interested in big cars they can't afford because yeah. now if you focus on the small cars not everyone is on the internet looking for a big no, 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 let's no. be honest so now if you try on like to brand you get to capture a different audience yeah. so now if you put in the finance and cars you capture those guys who like have finance problems but they don't really care much about their cars No, because my, my audience like is like it's, it's a mixed choice actually I wanted to ask you what audience are you attracting? I also have a feeling your female base is not so bad. Yeah, you because attracting a female audience on YouTube to watch a car. is not easy. <laughs> to watch a car, they're actually active even in the comment section. Wow, I get a lot of comments from females, <laughs> and they are learning a lot from the channel. They also guide me as to what to do next. Listen now, to that. I don't. I don't think I'll ever need a producer or. You have enough producer. Yeah, they tell me now. Must do what? 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 I must do what? What? So I don't even think of these things anymore. They just yeah. tell me what to do next. Wow, and there's a car. There's a because I watch a lot of your reviews. Mm -hmm. Let me think of one that I remember very recently. Uh, oh, the Beijing. Oh, yeah. It, it, we actually even downloaded the video of the Beijing. Let me go and, and, and let me search for it. Yes, there it is. Grandchap, as South Africans, we have to come together and thank all the Asian car brands for saving us from the Europeans with their endless list of optional extras. Sunroof, 14,000 rands. Alloy wheels, 7,000 rands. Leather seats, 10,000 rands. Camera and PDC, <laughs> 8,000 rands. You? Uh-uh. You? <laughs> you've become you know experts is such a loosely used word in South Africa expert fun and a legend we give this uh, name very easily to people yeah. and you, do you see do you see yourself getting better and better at at this uh, reviewing of cars yeah yeah with time because now when you start like you my, my main focus was just doing videos for fun to be uh, honest i didn't really think my channel was going to blow up like that quick yeah. i knew it was going to have an impact because i've done a bit of research before i didn't just jump and i'm like ah. mm. i knew it was going to have an impact but i didn't think i'm going to like attract a wider audience yeah before. with time you have to like change a certain things develop do a bit of research That's and whatever because whatever. initially i was just Throwing. Yeah, it was just bent and jay. This car looks like a what what? Yeah, it's a biscuit, it's a totos or whatever. That's yeah, it. But with time, we realized, okay, man, let me add a bit of substance to this thing. And yeah. yeah. So yeah. So there is improvement. Yeah, and and, and let's talk about Beijing as as a reference. Mm -hmm. uh, the Chinese market mm -hmm. and the Chinese cars in South Africa. They are here to stay. Whether we <laughs> like it or not. Or not, eh? Yeah, they are here to stay. And and which of the it's Haval, it's, it's Haval, Cherry, Cherry Beijing, Beijing is yeah. Beijing is not the main brand of the car because there's also a what other name is there for this car? There's a Biak or something. I don't even know how to pronounce that. B I'll, bike, yeah, it's bike. Bike, bike, bike yes. Yeah. And now there's this Beijing. I don't know which one is the name, the main brand because they put both of yeah, them there. Yeah, I'm also confused because <laughs> at the back there's the bike in front of the Beijing. Then there's the X55, which is the model. The model, yeah. So I'm it's not like, sure what's the name. What's the main name? Yeah. yeah. Well, Beijing. What is your impression of that car? It's a great car. They got the pricing right. Let's start there. Since yeah. I'm a finance guy, the now you've become thing, a finance yeah, guy. The first thing I criticize <laughs> with the car is the price. The price yeah. must make sense. Let's be honest. True. That thing of optional extras, you pay extra. Next time you'll be paying extra for wheel bolts, steering wheel, a seat belt. You so, probably do. You're not aware. Yeah, yeah we are. <laughs> yeah. But at least if you don't know, it's better. That's true. And to give me a shell and then tell me to pay an extra 10,000 yeah. rand for the, that Beijing, I, I think it's well priced. And the specs you get there, those seats, the quality of the material, man, yeah. is, is out of this world. And and the Cherry and the Haval, I must tell you, I've been very curious about the Cherry. Mm -hmm. uh, because my my car habits are, are very interesting. Yeah, well, I know that now. <laughs> <laughs> I've become worse when it comes to, I don't like expensive cars anymore at all. I used to. Um, I've, 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 I'm downscaling, so to speak, in terms of my interest. And it has a lot to do with growing, I realize. The older you get, you wonder... What do you get exactly from driving a fancy BMW? Mm. You know, besides... Well, once you drive a Porsche, there's nothing else you... Do you see what I mean? What do you get from those other cars? That became mm. the state of my mind. And I, I then started thinking, what? these cars are nice. I remember the Cherry. Yeah, what is it? The 4. The Tigo 4. Tigo 4. Yes, yes, I yes. thought, this is a nice car. I went, test drove it. There are a few things I didn't like about it, but I still thought the value was great. What do you say about the, the Cherry brand as a whole? 
they 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 are actually doing well. Uh, I remember they came back. They only had the mm. the Tigo Four Pro. That that was the only car they yeah. have, and then they also introduced the eight after that, and mm. then, then the seven came in. Seven. And yeah. their sales are showing. Or these guys are really improving, and their dealer ne- ne- network is like it's growing it's, so it's, fast. It's growing. <laughs> there was no share in in Nelspread, but when the Tigo Four Pro came. The, the cherry came and that if you go to that dealership now man you Bees. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's actually a great car the features they are packed but no with quality and whatever there, there's no such a thing as a perfect car people must be aware of that yeah because no people like they like bashing, bashing the chinese but, ah, chinese car get it from kong green in. <laughs> there's no such a thing as a perfect car yeah. even some of the components they put in the german cars are from china are from china so when you yes. say chinese cars i don't understand what they they say what they mean by that. It's an interesting point that about South Africans and mm-hmm. our love for German, German cars. cars. Yeah. Uh, what have you found in your observation of how South Africans consume cars, particularly in relation to what I've just said about German cars? Everyone wants a BMW. Or a Mac. If you're a lady. Okay, tell me they more. Want class. They want class. I always say it in my videos. You yeah. only find class in Mercedes, <laughs> A-class, C-class. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah, ladies, they love the Mercedes. With guys, they love, BM- they love BMW. Even the Polo drivers, by mm. the way. If you see these Polo drivers driving, doing those unthinkable things, they are telling themselves that they are driving a BIM. Deep down, <laughs> they are thinking they are driving a BIM. And eventually, they upgrade to the BMWs and they carry those Polo tendencies to, to BMWs. Yeah, it's a German thing. So every car, every person dreams of a BM. German car. It's a, it's a South African thing, though. It's a South African thing. Yeah. But now, with the Chinese cars, one thing that people don't know, because I met dealerships a lot, so I know what's happening in the back end. Mm-hmm. The Chinese cars are actually a side hustle for these guys who are selling the your German brands. Okay, you find explain. that uh, the guys who own the Mercedes dealerships and whatever, they're also selling the Havals. On they have a, a yeah. dealership, they, they have own the same thing. So it's yeah. like a dealer network and they have like different branches. Because yeah. we as consumers, when we see cars, we think, ah, these guys are competitors. When you see a VW and a Toyota, yeah. you think, ah, these brands are competitors. Maybe national at, at yeah, the yeah, headquarters yeah. level yes, yes. competition. But at the dealership level, those things are owned by the, by the same, same people. So whether you end up buying a Toyota or you buy a Vita, you're supporting the same people. It's, it's the same people. So if those guys who have like Mercedes dealerships have so much confidence in these Chinese cars that they invest their money there mm. to sell the cars to you, I also have confidence because I, I own a Suzuki Palen. Yes. And so the reason why I bought that car yeah. is because there's a Toyota Starlet. And a Toyota Starlet is basically a Suzuki Palino with a Toyota with badge. With a Toyota badge. So with a few features. Yeah, so if different. Toyota has confidence to put a Toyota badge on a Palino, mm. that's where I'm putting my money. <laughs> so you're saying they... These guys, they know the game. Yeah. They know the game. So these guys who are selling the German cars and whatnot, if they have confidence to invest in these Chinese brands and sell them to you, it yeah. means there's something there. They know the game. Pella, they do research those guys. They Absolutely. don't just wake up and be like, I want to open a Haval dealership yeah. Yeah, and sell as a side hustle. No. <laughs> yeah. And you find at times they make more sale with these with, yeah, Chinese. With all other things, yeah. yeah. And they boost the other ones. The other like guys. They are float. Yeah. But, but South African buying patterns are interesting as well. We are very brand conscious society. Mm-hmm. That's why you see people with fancy clothes and so forth. You know, I just don't have that. Unfortunately, I don't have the money for that. But I realize that people are into that kind of stuff. And particularly when it comes to car brands, what other brand surprises you when you when you look around and observe South African buying patterns? Besides the BM and the and the Mercedes, we know we love the VW. Mm-hmm. That's that. That's our problem. Our problem. Yes. What other brand surprises you? That's the Toyota. Of course. Yeah, uh, Toyota, uh, the, the, the cars they are making, they, they're not really that interesting. <laughs> so then the, the other brand is like based on reliability. Yeah. Because most of the guys, they know you can drive a Toyota, it will outlive you and your grandchildren and whatever. That's true. So yeah, people tend to buy Toyota a lot, but they're, they're not really interesting cars. They are they're mostly business cars for there's, me. There's a 12-year-old Yaris in the yard. Mm-hmm. It is by far the most reliable car we have. Those I bought it cars. brand new mm-hmm. in 2010, and it's never given us problems. They say you'll never go wrong with Japanese. <laughs> That's what they say. But I, I don't know why we, we have a problem with the Chinese. So you're saying the Chinese are here to stay? The Chinese are here to stay. They're not 
They're not time yeah, tested. They're, they're not time tested. And also the thing, they are presenting themselves as guys who are selling re reliable, like, I mean, affordable cars. Mm -hmm. that, that's what I mean, affordable. But then with time, they start then increasing their prices. They are trying to infiltrate the market. So hey, that's going to be a problem. That's the problem that I've noted with like Chinese cars. Yeah. They present themselves as these it's cheap. Uh, as cheap cars and whatever. And then with time, like, boom. Did the same thing with the Huawei or Huawei Wii. Mm -hmm. yeah, that mm -hmm. phone, yeah. <laughs> it was cheap. If you're using that phone, be like, ah, when I were using a Huawei. Suddenly. Yeah, and all of a sudden, like, boom. Yeah. So the Chinese are also doing the same thing. But uh, what are they, which car are they doing it with? Haval. Yeah. It's the, not... price, the price increase there is just not. Cheap. Doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. But it's a great car. It was one of my favorite SUVs. Uh -huh. Up there, H6, Kia Sportage, and the rest. Really? Yep. So the cherry doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't shake you. you kind of I, I am, I'm I'm asking because it shakes me. <laughs> cherry, which number? The seven. Seven now. Not the eight. Eight is too big. Four is too small. Seven is a uh, is a decent seven, size. Uh, it's a seven. The weight. I mean, I'm uh, the weight. I don't like the way it handles. <laughs> I don't like the way it handles. Yes. I must admit, I've never driven it, so I don't know. <laughs> I just like it. I, I tested at the time because they came with a four. So mm. I tested the four and then they went to eight and then they came to seven. So I've to tested seven. the four and I thought it's a nice first, first, uh, first time buyer's car as well, price wise. Uh, how much is it? Actually, it's not around, first time buyer. Around, it's about 400. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You are looking at about 7,000 before insurance. Yes. Yeah. What is your ideal first, first car? Ideal first car. Anything that you can afford. <laughs> That's the ideal first car. Because yeah. our pockets are not the same. That's to be true. Honest. I cannot yes. say people must buy Picantos and Suzuki's and whatever. Let's let's put our pockets at the same place. Let's say ten thousand rands. That's my earning. Ten thousand. You are earning ten thousand rands. Yeah. You have no business buying a car. Hey, my daughter. I'm staying at home. Let me remove. Let me remove the burden of my shoulders. Okay. You also have to stay in Zimbabwe, maybe. Okay, let's say fifteen thousand. I win. I'll put this way money more. Okay, but we make that decision. You realize that you take out four thousand there for insurance. You're left with six. Yeah, man, I'll be fine. One thousand for insurance. Oh, half of your salary is gone. Yeah, I have a car. <laughs> <laughs> then you eat pap and eggs every day. You actually have a, a video about pap and eggs all your yeah, life. Yeah, it starts from there. With that bad oh, decision. For what? To move from point A to B. Yes. Where but, I... but, but you, you're removing the ego that comes with owning a car. Owning a car. You know that there's, a, there's an extra cherry on top of saying, I'm the first in the family. Uh, yeah. I, 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 amongst my friends, I'm the first. Or I have a car and you don't. You know, all of that. You're removing the ego that comes, that comes with, with owning your first car. But, but, but what's the point if you don't <laughs> sleep at night? We, we, oh, the point of a, a car is just an instrument to move from point A to B. That's all it is. It, it ends there. Looking nice. Uh, well, not really. Let me remove, let me, let me, let me interrogate your statement further. Mm -hmm. It's, it's to move from point A to point B. Yes. Are you really saying that when you're talking about the South African market? Mm. Otherwise, we would all That's be driving what's Yaris. happening on the <laughs> ground, which is the whole point of my platform. Yeah. Yeah, to do away with that thing of dream cars. Dream car, there's no such a thing as a dream car. Yeah. Cars are constantly evolving. My dream car in grade seven was a Mercedes Compress. Jeez. If I look at that thing now, it's just a four seat. <laughs> yeah. Someone went in debt for that thing. It was his dream car at that point. Mm -hmm. There's like your new ones now with the tablets and whatever. Hey. So they're constantly evolving. I That's call them I, I'm an iPad. <laughs> you Those see. cars are iPads. Mm -hmm. They're constantly evolving. So you can't be having dream cars. And you only sit inside the car. That's the interesting part. And the only thing you see is your it's dash the, yes. and the road. That's and it. you can only drive as fast as the car in front of you. Mm -hmm. If there's a picante there, you'll be tailing it. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter whether your car can move from 0 to 100 in yes. 3.1 seconds. With what, 140 you can only kilowatts. You drive as fast <laughs> as the car in front of you. Yeah, That's the relate of the situation. Do you think you're, you're winning based on some of the comments on your platform with regards to changing that mindset? Because changing a mindset is, is one of the most yeah. difficult things advertisers do every day. It's actually very difficult. I'm winning with some. Actually, people like they start seeing the light now. Because like initially when I started, because I clown a lot. Mm. So people were having like a challenge to like, 
come through the different layers of my content because like there's the clowning part there's the serious yeah, there's like the serious a... then there's the finance then there's just like general knowledge mm. yeah so some people were having a challenge like coming through the different layers they'll just focus on the clowning part <laughs> if you post like a 10 minute long video they'll just focus on that two minutes there where mm. we're just you're clowning. talking rubbish yeah, and then they reduce that whole body of fact to that clowning rubbish yeah. but now eventually people started seeing around this guy, this guy is a clown but he's onto something yeah it's crazy how many guys like have switched to suzuki fans now because <laughs> i drive suzuki almost everyone now is driving a suzuki swift or a palino and wow. they're even out of stock in almost all provinces if you try to find a palino you will struggle you can't find it Jeez. People are buying that thing and people are even negotiating. I taught them how to negotiate. I mean, I don't pay full price for anything. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't pay full price. There's a anything. video where you, when you were buying a car for your lady, mm -hmm. there was a lot of... Negotiate. Yeah, yeah, I negotiate a lot. And you even... There's advice that I got from you. Uh, go towards month end. Yeah. Because when I'm a target, mm -hmm. they have to reach their target. So you are the perfect candidate when you walk through the door yeah, at that under time. Pressure. Yes. So someone's job might be depending on you. On that one sale. Yeah. <laughs> they have to sell that car, otherwise they are fired. So if when you come in and be like, this is all I have. Yeah. They will make sure they sell you that car, my man. I'm telling you. And it's buying new versus versus uh, used cars. You also have a video about that. Used cars are very thick. Yeah. Because we are just shooting in the dark there. You. You buy a car next thing when it's raining, it's raining inside your car. <laughs> and then, and car when you the day you bought it, it wasn't they raining. Were, they told you everything is fine. They even give you reports. It, mm. ah, this one is a low mileage. It's fresh, accident free. You are driving there. There's hail <laughs> <laughs> flooding inside the car. So it's, it's tricky. You have to do a lot of research with, with your car. Yeah. But it's crazy with me. I didn't do any research. My oh. people... <laughs> I just winged it. Well, and yet you're saying... But it was my first car. You learn from those things. You also learn from your own mistakes. Yeah, 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 yeah. With my first car, it was a used car, but I didn't really do a lot of research. But yeah. now I've realized that with a used car, you actually have to do a lot of research. You can't just wing it because yeah. a lot can go wrong there. What is the most common buying mistakes that people do? One, not doing research. The biggest mistake now is people thinking that buying a car is a transaction. Buying mm -hmm. a car is actually a process. Yeah. It's not just a thing where you walk in and swipe a car where you're buying the cheapest. Mm -hmm. Buying a car is a process. It starts way, way before you even get your first salary. Mm -hmm. Because now you have to prepare yourself getting a license, you all work on your credit score, then you start the shopping around, mm -hmm. and all those things. So it starts at you getting a license. Yeah. It's very important to make sure that you get your driver's license as soon as you can. That's mistake number one that I made. <laughs> okay. I hope you're learning from What me. did you do? I mean, I just, you know, with, with us, when you didn't grow up around cars, mm. you, you just... Like most of us. Yeah, you yes. just finish school, go to varsity and whatever. So I did not have a, a driver's license. Yeah. I only did my license like a week before buying a car. Okay. <laughs> when I called insurance companies for a quote, they laughed at me. But uh, when did you get your license? Two days ago. <laughs> I got my license on a Monday. I bought a car on Wednesday. Jeez. When I was doing quotes, those guys were laughing at me. Because the codes are high. One insurer even charged me like 4.3. For a car whose for, installment was? Was like 4.1. So I was paying more for, <laughs> for insurance, insurance than for the car. Oh boy. Mistake number one. Yeah, because you're a new driver. Get yeah. a license as soon as you can. Even if you are not planning to buy a car, get a driver's license as soon as you can because yeah. that's going to save you a lot of money in future. Let's talk about the, the real reason for that. And all, a person who's had a license long, the insurance industry thinks you know how to drive. Yeah, they think you've been driving, so you uh, you have some experience. So yes. even if you are not really driving, you just had that thing and it was gathering dust somewhere. Yeah, yeah. They think you are a good driver. Uh -huh. So that's the important part. It will affect the insurance that you're going to pay. So get your license as soon as you can. Even yeah. if you are not planning on buying a car. Even if you don't see yourself owning a car. Anytime soon. Because you license. can get a license yeah, you without... You know, you can win lotto. Yes. And all of a sudden you need a car. You can have a YouTube channel and it booms. Now you're getting <laughs> big money. You see. So you should get your yeah. license yeah. as soon as you can. The Let's journey starts there. Let's talk. keep going. It's a process. From license, credit score. Yeah. Because now, the reality of South Africa is that most of us cannot afford to buy a car cash. That's it. Let us be honest. Mm -hmm. No one has like 200,000 rand sitting under a mattress unless you press them. <laughs> so, yeah. That's even $8 million. <laughs> yeah, let's not go there. Mm -hmm. Yes.
<laughs> yeah, so no, we, we don't have like bags of cash. Yes. Most of us, like, we finance our cars. So yeah. you have to start working on your credit score uh. as soon as you can. Because now some people learn with, about this thing when they're about to like apply for a car loan. Yeah. So you have to try to work with, on, on your credit score. What I actually did when I was in Varsity, I had this other, you see now I'm going to advertising prime, but I had like a credit no, card of a, no, like give a it. store card where you buy clothes and whatever mm, on credit. Yes, most likely. Makam. Okay. <laughs> I get it. For Majita. Yeah. Yes. So that's what I had. Yeah. But I was using that thing to build my credit score because I knew that after finishing Varsity, I'm, I'm going to need a car. Yeah. And for the car, I'll take a loan. So the first thing I need to do is to work on my credit score. Mm -hmm. So I was using that card to build my credit score. But now I was not buying things I can't afford. Of course. That's where the trick is. Yeah. So people, when they get this thing, they think it's free, man. They give you a, a credit card, card with 10,000. 10,000 rents. I'm a student. <laughs> I'm a student. Man, and, I'm, and doctors make that mistake. Yeah, 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 yeah. a lot. Yeah. So yeah, they think it's free money. You go there, you swipe, you swipe, you swipe. When it's time to pay, pay back, you don't have them. Mm -hmm. So with me, I had like a small like a credit limit. Yeah. That I know even if I can so much just max it out, I can afford. You're fine. It. I yeah. Can afford to pay it. Yeah. And I was only taking things I can afford. I buy something, and at the end of the month, I'll pay the thing in full. That's so it. So I had the money in the pocket, but then I used. You need it. to get yeah. the credit yeah, going. Just to yeah. the credit going. Not that I was just buying, just relying on credit. I was yeah. not living out of credit. Mm. So I was just using that thing to build my credit score. Yeah. So yeah. That's the important part. Tick that off. License, credit. License, credit. Yeah. So now it's the shopping around part. Yeah. Now you need to be honest with yourself <laughs> and know what you can afford. That's where most people lose it. You can check the two, then you will lose it at the budget. H. Because everyone is thinking German, dream car, dream car, whatever. And that thing doesn't work. Mm -mm. You have to be honest with yourself. What do you really need a car for? Yeah. Ask yourself that question. What are the common answers? The first you've already answered, move from point A to point B. Oh, are man. there other answers besides that? Hey, my man, I work very hard. I must reward myself. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> like, oh, I studied I, for long. For seven years, so I must reward myself. Mm. Those are the answers I get. And But is it really, really worth it? Yeah. I do not think so. Because here's the thing. Some of the guys, you know, we went to school with, you know, that guy, he's not really coming from a well-off family, he was mm. using NS at school. You start working three months down the line, you are driving a 700,000 rent car. Yeah. My man, you studied with NS Fast. So there's a huge recovery that you need to be doing mm -hmm. of your life and so the life of the people of around you. don't make sense. Then you call out those people, like, yeah, Peter. Yeah. You leave people to enjoy their things. So, <laughs> yeah. You need to be honest with yourself. Why do you need a car? Yeah. That's where you get to work out your budget. What can you really afford? Don't shop around for things you can't afford. Don't get into car no, dealers. Don't. Don't. <laughs> don't. Do car dealerships have tricks? A lot. They sell cars for a living. What have you picked up? The, the, the thing that you should never, never tell dealership is how much you're willing to pay for a car. Okay. A month. Uh. Never, ever mention They will that. match it. Never, <laughs> ne never, ever uh. mention that thing. And you must know what you want. Don't let them recommend things for you. Because some people, they make the mistake of just coming with a number and saying, uh, I have 300,000 rands, which car should I buy? Mm. And I'm like, there's thousands of cars. Where do we even start? <laughs> so you get such questions. A lot. Yeah. I get DMs, email. I'm like, hey, <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, get, get a convertible. Seventh hand BMW. Yeah. Maybe. Surely you'll get a used one. Yeah. For 300,000. <laughs> uh -huh. So you, you need to know why you need a car and then you work on a budget. Because if you don't have a budget, hey, dealerships will play games with you. Yeah. They will play games. They can sell you anything. They can sell you a Lamborghini and you pay 7,000. Mm. Mm. For, gonna for be years. A 10 million balloon hanging sure. on your head. Sure. I have a whole episode on balloon payment. Yeah, it's, it's actually a tricky thing. They must cancel that thing. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just a risky it, it, business. Is, is it one of the tricks? Clearly it is. Uh, buy now, start paying in March. That's a, that that I, one I, is happening. I, I actually thought when, uh, you can buy a car and just return it and walk away. When After I was, March. When, when, when I was still a kid, I didn't... I'm like, that you'll drive it for three months when and When I start we... working, I'm going to take that deal, get a PMA, I'm like, yeah, hey, I am out. <laughs> <laughs> it does not work like that. It's actually trick. You are paying for it. the interest you pay, even the months where you are not paying for the installment. Yeah. The interest is there. It will, it will be clocking. Let's, let's go back to the tricks because I, I, I'm curious to know what trick you've picked up. 
Mm. A dealership trick. Oh, yes. We're, we're, we're at dealership. Yeah. Okay, what happens in a dealership is the yeah. moment you walk in, uh. they will ask you how they can help you, uh, which car you want, and how much you are willing to pay. Th mm. That's where it all starts. The, the conversation starts there. Yeah. How much are you willing to pay? The trick there is to not tell them how much you are prepared to pay. Yeah. Just tell them I'm shopping around or just tell them the, your budget, like the total mm, budget. Mm, price. Mm, yeah, mm. that's what you should tell them. And then with finance, they actually do in-house finance. Yes, in-house finance. Yes, that's yes. another thing. Because you can actually get different rates at different financial institutions. Of course. So some of these guys at dealerships, they want you to take the in-house finance. Ah. They make a lot of money if you take their in-house finance. They give you like a ridiculous interest rate. Of course. But if you go and shop around for a better rate, you can get a better rate. At a bank and so forth. Yeah. 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 So they will try to like Give Lure you in to the yeah. yeah, they give you all sorts of deals that, yeah, if you take this, we are going to give you a discount, but you must take the finance. From, yeah, 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 we give you 30% cash back or whatever. Uh, There's almost like things to warranty, yeah, yeah, guarantee, free, yeah. all of that, but yeah, you must take our finance. Deals, yeah, so you end up going to like pay for the <laughs> eventual. So, the in house finance is not necessarily well, you need to know what you're doing, you need to know what you're doing, but also some of them they, they work with the banks because you may find that their in house finance is it's, also West Bank or something because yeah. dealerships are not financial mm -hmm. institutions, mm -hmm. but then they also add their own things there, the commissions and whatever. So, you really don't want what does a warranty mean when they say, uh, I know with Haval, mm -hmm. Abu Chang. 100 years or whatever hey, that yeah, is. It's a million. <laughs> a million kilometers. kilometers. Uh, who drives a car for one million <laughs> kilometers? They give you things like Just that. Weird <laughs> marketing. What is a warranty? Warranty is sort of like a manufacturer's insurance. Okay. It works like an insurance. You know, like the insurance that you have for your mm, accidental damage. All of that. Yeah. yeah. Warranty is almost like an insurance but it's by the manufacturer, uh -huh. which says, like, if anything goes wrong... Mechanically, the, yeah, electronically. Mechanical, and it's not, like, due to abuse or yeah. reckless driving or whatever, the manufacturer is going to cover the repairs or uh -huh. whatever. So, warranty, think of warranty as an insurance yes. by the manufacturer to it, say we have confidence in our product and we're going to cover it in the event of damage or anything. We got down, you. We are going to sort it out for you. Is it an important decision? De decision make, making uh, part of the decision making. Is it an important factor? when we are buying a used car? Ah, when you are buying a used car, because you don't know what's wrong with that car. That mm. you mm. So you want to buy a car that has a warranty intact. Yeah. It, will, it will be nicer if the service plan or a motor plan is Was there as well. But warranty is very important because if the warranty is expired and something breaks you will end up paying more than what you pay for the car just for repairs. Yeah. Or almost half of the purchase price. Mm -hmm. Like car 100,000, now you must pay 50,000 for a repair. To fix it. That's like half of the purchase price just for repairs. That exactly. Means, so that means the car costs you 150,000. Basic car. Yeah. So your warranty is very important. You must make sure if you're on the used market, make sure you buy a car that is warranty. If the warranty is expired, get an extended warrant or whatever, but they are also very tricky, those ones. The third parties that you get, they, hey. they, don't do, like, they tell you it's 40, 60, whatever. And you don't know these things when you are signed because black people don't like to read. <laughs> when they give you like a contract to like, <laughs> they just but, but they actually, read. they actually <laughs> say sign here and here. Oh yeah, they don't here. even show you the text. No? Sign, sign here. here. They put an X. This sign is here. where you must sign. This yeah. is where I'm assigning initial every page. Oh. Do, 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 and then tell him more. You go. It breaks down. And now it's so like, uh, yes. oh no, you signed. Uh, it yeah, doesn't have warranty. Yeah, they say, I know we're only going to pay 30%. You must cover 70%. Yes, yes. So that deals like that. Yes. So wow. if the repair will cost 100,000, you'll pay 30,000. Maybe they, they do 70, 30, you pay 30,000 out of yeah, your pocket. Where, yeah. where are you going to get like 30,000? In cash. In cash for repairs. Let's talk about warranty and say and, and compare warranty with a motor plan. Okay. Yeah. Motor plan is for the maintenance. Uh -huh. The motor plan covers the maintenance, your service, and the warranty just covers the the mechanical breakdowns yes. and things that can go wrong. Mm. But then the motor plan 
covers the repairs, your servicing, yes. and, yeah, and all those things. But now there's also a difference between a service plan and a motor, motor plan. plan. Yeah, there's one where you pay for some parts out of your pocket. If it's a service plan, mm. they only cover for certain things, but some, the parts, the brakes, the, you need to buy those yes, things with yes. your own money. That's your service plan. But with a motor plan, they cover almost everything. When yeah. you just hoi tires there, and you drive and yeah. petrol and pay for your speeding fine, of course. <laughs> yeah, since you are driving a German machine. Who's become really good at, at that world in terms of all these car uh, manufacturers and dealers in the world of warranties, in the world of, warrant, uh, of, of uh, motor plans? Because I remember growing up, uh, BMW always sounded like they offered you the best deal when it comes to things like that. What have you found? Ah, they are actually very similar now. Yeah. With most of the luxury German brand, they will give you like a five-year, 100,000 kilometers. Mm. But those things are very tricky <laughs> because dealerships are dodgy. Yeah. When you get there, you will have your warranties intact and your motor plan, but they will tell you, right, no, this one is on you, my man. Uh, no, but this one is not part of it. Yeah, this one is not covered, but what are, uh, but yeah, most of the luxury brands, your, your, your German brands, they will get you get a five year, 100,000. Mm. There's those that come with a service plan, but they're actually scraping those now. The competition commission like made recommendations that the service plan must be unbundled from the purchase price of the car. Okay. So it is, it's no longer going to come as part of. As part of yeah, the deal. Ford is already implementing that. If yeah. you buy a Ford, it will come with no service plan. You have to pay an extra 18,000 rand if you buy like an Everest. Does it make the price cheaper of the, the base price of the car? Not necessarily. It's supposed to do that, but now car prices have like gone up. Yeah. yeah. So you can't really see the impact of, yes. that. of so that. Of yeah. that big decision. Yeah. 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 But yeah. They've actually unbundled the service plan now. So you buy a big German machine and you'll service it out of your pocket from day one. If you don't tick that box. Mm, as an extra. So it's an extra now. 18,000 rands. After paying a million rands. <laughs> you still have 18,000 rands. Save his plan. Don't you this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Now, here's another video of you talking about black people and uh, downgrading. Most of us as black people grow up with nothing. And when we start working, we want to have everything at once. We want to stay in upmarket suburbs, drive fancy cars, and take our kids to Model C schools with only just one source of income. Then when you start drowning financially, it is extremely difficult to find the courage to say, no man, I have to let go of my silly SUV and I must take my kids out of cure. Cause if him booze it dumb, it dumb. No munga is a cure, we are fine, What happens to us as a botak? I know it's peer pressure. I don't know. It's peer pressure or trying to model American things yeah. that, that we can't really live up to. I think, yeah, it boils down to that. Nothing yeah, more. Peer pressure. Yeah. And trying to impress people who don't really care about you. Because you, you speak about it in one of your videos where you say that the property you live in now was you got it from a guy, from a guy who, who was downgrading. Yeah. And he was accepting that times are, are tough. Yeah, I'm getting rid of this that thing. thing and just moved on. Yeah. And I, it, it's very difficult to find the courage to do that. Thing. Dealing with him, how was his demeanor in that transaction? Stressful. Yeah. It was it was actually stressful. I had to move into that house before the registration period. If, mm. It was actually a crazy story. <laughs> it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. That's what you find with us. Because uh, mm. you were this guy who bought a German machine. Vrupan. You're the one I see everybody's proud of, the family's proud of, and now you have to make this backtrack because your life has changed so much. Mm. And we struggle to do that. Uh, most people can't can't down. It's difficult. Even for me, it was it was it was a fear. Yeah, to move from GTI to, to like a Palino, what, 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 with, with the car and the like, oh. charge control from oh. a DSG, the <laughs> Yeah, but I was like, nah, who else can do it? Let me just do it to show people that, no, man, these things don't define who we are. There's more to life than cars. Interesting. Uh, what is the secret sauce to making the leap? Because it's not easy. You say it. It's it's a huge jump. It's, 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 it's a huge jump back. Bantu Bazotin. Everyone is looking, Bel. <laughs> but are they really looking? People don't care. Yeah. I'm a doctor. I drive a Suzuki Swift as my daily car. No one cares. 
No. There's one guy who actually commented in one of my videos. He said, I can't drive a Swift. I'm a lawyer. Imagine rocking up in court with no one is going to take me serious. Those people don't care what you're They didn't drive. even see you. They, they, they don't care. They didn't see you park. Yes. Like, which one? is you, The judge will take you serious because like, you drive a... You don't enter with your car in court. No. Like the, the convoy and whatever in the box. They will be like, there by yourself. <laughs> yes. So people don't really care. I am driving a Swift. 200,000 rents car. I'm a doctor. And you're happy. I'm a YouTuber. Yes. I'm doing other things. I your know my Shabella. <laughs> your life can afford a better car. Yes. But nobody cares. Cars. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. The SUV take, take over. I'm not really a big fan of SUVs, to be honest. You'll be surprised. You've been in the yard. There's no single SUV. I, I came with a, a trolley on here. Yes, yeah, you came yeah. with the SUV. Yeah, because I'm reviewing it. Yes. But I don't see myself buying an SUV. It's, it's, it's a great thing because like, they are more spacious and whatever. And if I can get an SUV for the price of like a Polo, I'm better off with an SUV. SUV. You're getting more car but for that just too much now. The, the market is just saturated. Every other week, they are launching a new SUV. SUV. Yeah. I Even will... the Beijing we spoke about yeah, is the SUV. SUV. Yes. Mahindra launched an SUV 700 just now. More SUVs are still coming. Like, how many of these things do we need? Do you know what car I like lately? It's the Corolla, uh, the Corolla, not the Cross, the, the Sedan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see nice one. ones. It, 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 H, H, uh, XR, rather. XR. Yeah, they're, they're I proper. really like that car. And car. even they talk about it and say, yeah, even a charity senior speaks about it to say, well, it's a great car, but nobody's going to buy it <laughs> because people are buying uh, one of these like SUVs. A, cars for teachers and old people. and all. That's what we knew Corolla. It's an Uber yeah, now. Yeah, I get Uber car, but the new ones like really look good. They look good. I really like that and car. You can get one for a price of a Polo and you'll be like sitting there. Do I get a Polo or do I buy a, a Toyota Corolla? I would go Japanese. <laughs> but most people won't. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take over because we don't go to the mountains. We don't carry exactly. big things. We don't have suddenly have bigger families. And it seems like the SUV takeover is not only here in South Africa, it's, it's everywhere in the world. the world. Crossovers, mild hybrid crossovers and whatever. They're just feeding us with those things now. Because the Havals are, are SUV. They throw out. All through. of them. The Haval doesn't now ever they, say they, that. They keep on recycling the same like model. They will give you like a hybrid. What was an X6 hybrid? H6. What what what? A6. GT. What, what. Now they want to bring Jolo on hybrid. Jolo on plug-in. What what Jolo? So it's the, it's the same thing. Sure. Instead of just expanding like their portfolio and of catering for like a different because those cars are catering yeah. for the same market. market. Yeah. yeah, they are all big SUVs. Seven seaters. There's... For a family of two. Me and my lady there were buying a Tigo 8 Pro. Even if you had a kid next week, you don't need Still seven You don't seats. need seven seats. You see, that's the thing. But we seem to be buying this. We are buying these things just because your neighbor has an SUV. I know I'm going to Let's talk about the, the pricing. You speak about it so much, the VW pricing mess. Because that's what I would call it. What is it about it that is complicated. I'll use the word complicated. Probably is not. But when this car and that and the utility price are hang on. Those things, they, they don't make sense. They will tell you it, it's demand, it's parts shortages, supply. Those things are not there. People just want to make easy money. But what have you, give us an example of the VW price com complication. Mm. Think think of one and I'll, I'll pause so we, you get it right. Mm. Which car, which car, which car, which car? Tigo and 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 but to the le motor, le price Let me let me it. also look if you 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 we have any of the videos there. The prices we have. Uh, what what is it? Does we don't the Polo R line. I think it's about close to half a million now. Yeah, with half a million, there's a lot of other VW cars that you can get. You can get a, a T Cross. Yeah, with that man, you can get a Tigo, and you can get a, like a decent low mileage Tiguan. Yes. With the price of that Polo. Of the Polo R-Line. Mm -hmm. So that's where it gets complicated. And those prices, also when you compare with other brands, you see VW gets exposed when you start comparing with other brands. Uh -huh. But when we are like a VW, VW fan, fan. You, you think, oh, these things make sense because I, I forgot. Right, yeah. lah. But now when you start you, to take a one-liter car engine uh. and compare it to something else, 
a different brand. Yeah, at the same price, you realize that no. Because a 500, if it buys the R line, Polo, you take that same amount, you take it to, geez, you'll get a big car at Haval. You'll get a big car. And some change. And some change. You'll get a big car at, uh, at um, Cherry. You'll get a big car. Even in Toyota, you'll get a decent car. You'll get yeah. a, what is that car? The, 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 the Corolla Cross. Toyota Corolla Cross. Hybrid. I, I no think it was, yeah, it was in the is it top five. I'm not sure. I've been curious about it to a point where I called a dealership and they said no stock. You can get a used one on, on auto trade. Yeah. yeah. The cross is actually a better option when you compare it to like a 500,000 rents Polo that has a one liter three cylinder engine. <laughs> Those things are terrible. <laughs> you don't like them. If If you can afford, uh, 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 afford to avoid a one liter three cylinder engine, Please do so. Don't buy it. Oh, those things are terrible. They're just overworked. They're one liter. <laughs> that vibration. Yes. <laughs> it's pulling really hard. Yeah. It's carrying too much. Yeah, they, they are really overworked, those things. So if you can have, afford to avoid yeah. a one liter three-cylinder engine, yeah, just get yourself a 1.4 nyana that is, has a four-cylinder nyana. Walk away. It's proper, man. Yeah, not one liters. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot of one liters now. if it's an auto. An yes. automatic budget car is just self touch <laughs> <laughs> what, what is the experience? Because uh, clearly you've driven one. Yeah, th those cars are slow. Yeah. Uh, are slow. That, that, that's one thing that I hate. When you are trying to overtake, you are still thinking, thinking of something. <laughs> and by the time it picks up speed, you're already thinking of something. Yeah, you're you no longer want to do that. <laughs> so it's always slow to rise to the path. When you put your foot down, still thinking, do it, go do it. Or, or, oh. or, or, maybe, or maybe you distracted it. It was... Thinking mm -hmm. of other things. Other things. So, yeah, they are always low. You can actually die because of that thing. Yeah. You are trying to overtake. You see an it doesn't opening. react to your intention. Yeah. You see an opening there, you just want to cut in. It's just not responding. Then, oh, and there's nothing you can do. You can't change down. You can't, it's an auto. It's an auto. It's you just have to keep. Yeah. <laughs> and hope that it gets Hope the... for the best. <laughs> <laughs> and we, which cars are those? It, it's the Polo. Polo has one. Obviously, they have different levels. Yeah, those ones. With Polos, it's better because they are turbocharged. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. An of auto, course. A small yes. engine with an auto, they are turbocharged. Of course. So it'll, can... it'll react. Yeah. But yeah. those ones, the natural aspirated one, you go buy a Picanto, that's a four-speed automatic we are just testing God. <laughs> <laughs> don't even go don't, there. Yeah, don't, don't even. So the SUV takeover is everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it's everywhere. All car manufacturers make SUVs. They want, they want a piece of the pie. Because they see these things are selling, Akir. Uh. Someone will like, I'm not spending 500000 in Nepal, I'm buying an SUV. And, and some of the reasons people give for buying SUVs are ridiculous. I like? They will tell you, ah, I'm buying this one for potholes because the roads in South Africa are bad. <laughs> then you go buy a Tiguan with like low profile tires, 19 inch. Do you think we are going to survive potholes with that thing? So no. see, your reason is just ridiculous. You, the, the entire pothole sound and feel will translate itself in uh -huh. on the and steering wheel. to break those low profile wheels and whatever. Yeah. So that reason of, of saying hi, it's potholes, it doesn't hold out. Let's check one other video. What do we have? The last mistake is buying a car at an auction when you don't really know much about auctions. According to me, buying a car at an auction is the second most risky way of buying a car. The most risky way is buying a car from a person. Private sale. Let's talk about buying a car from a person. What is, what is your, your advice? You probably shouldn't do it. Yeah. You probably shouldn't do it. The, the reason why they are selling the car is the reason why you shouldn't buy it. Mm. It, it, it starts there. But they are, they are likely to sell it to We Buy Cars, for example. We Buy Cars is taking everything. Yeah, they, they, they are actually complaining. Dealerships are complaining. No, We Buy Cars we buy, buy cars everything. Is, is taking everything. Yeah. And they are offering decent prices. When, when they I, sell when, the when car. When I was selling my Polo GTI, I actually started at We Buy Cars. Mm -hmm. Got an offer, then... Went to VW, told them, Bela, this is what they offered me. Take it or leave it. Mm. So they, they matched that. Yeah, they matched that. They would have given you much less. Less. They <laughs> offered 513 the, the first time. Yeah. Because Akira, I got the first GTI, it gave me problems. Yeah. I told them I don't want it anymore. So they must so much just buy it back or give me a new one. Uh -huh. The buy back that they offered was like 513,000 rand. Okay. And Mina, I paid like 560 something for sure. the car. I was like, no, this option is not going to work. Mm. Give me a new car. Because I did my math. I'm like, no yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd no rather way. just get yeah, a new car. I'd rather get a new car. But you were, you, were, you were that tired of it to give it away. Within a month. Yeah. 
Yeah, with the man. So yeah, I went to buy cars with the second one, got a better offer because I knew if I just start there, they will give me a ridiculous offer. So I shopped around for like a better offer. And I oh, they, you, you got a new car? Had, had problems as well and they refused to fix it, by the way. <laughs> the brand new car, within a month, the aircon was no longer working. What it did was they no say? no longer blowing cold air. When I go there, they say, no, there's a defect in the compressor. It's probably my fault because they did a pre-delivery inspection. The car was fine. The aircon is not working. was working. Mm. Everything was fine. So it's my fault. I have to pay 11000 to fix that thing. Brand new car. Brand new car that you just bought like a few weeks ago. Then paying 11000 to fix it. I'm like, I will do no such thing. You yeah. know, take, I came with the spare keys. I put them there. So take your car. Yeah, take your cars and just give me my man. <laughs> I can't work like this. From the saga of the first car. Yeah, you're back like, again. Another bro. I'm like, hey, I'm, I can't live with this. It gave, it gave you good content, though. Yeah, it's, con it's content. Lemons are content for me. <laughs> it gave you good content. So you decided to take it to We Buy Cars. We buy, how much did they offer you? Initially, you know these guys are very yeah. tricky, but me now I know they came. Initially, they offered like 500,000 rents. Yeah. I paid 550 for the car. I was like, hey, no way, I'm selling it like for yeah. 500 after driving it for a month. Yeah. I, I we, would, we tried to negotiate. They said, no, the price is from head office. We can't go against what head office oh. is saying. And okay, cool, give me my car. I left. Yeah. After a few days, they called me. They said, no, we can now give you 5 2 in time. Like I said, now you <laughs> at least give me a return quotation that says 5 2. They sent me that thing, which I took to our to, friends. To, to and, VW. Uh, hey, Buona, did they up it or they matched it? They just matched. And you'd rather... Yeah, I didn't want to like, hey, I just wanted out. <laughs> just says, it's I still just, a loss. Yeah, yeah, it's still a loss. It's still a loss. But, but it's, the yeah, it is. Through the, yeah. Through the, the bad story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's 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 move this video forward a little bit. The auction house. Once the deal is sealed, the car is your problem. To be on the safe side, you have to make arrangements to go view the cars with a professional mechanic. That's that's prior to the auction. Yes, the research. The other the... issue is that at auctions you compete with big sharks who specialize in buying auction cars. And they can spot a road deal from miles away. And they know where to draw the line. But when I as Mafundane, you may end up overbidding for a lemon. There's no point in buying a car this from a car, car. if you're gonna end up spending yeah, the same amount of money you're gonna, you're gonna pay for that particular <laughs> car at a dealership. Nice car. So though. it is important nice. to note that the price you offer during the bidding process doesn't include VAT and other relevant fees. However, if you are the highest bidder, buy wow. It. Okay, let's move to the next video. Downgrading happens in two ways. You can either downgrade before getting yourself into a financial mess or downgrade after getting yourself into a mess. Let's talk about that. Downgrading before, downgrading after. Yeah, it's the process. Yeah. Because we started at uh, license, license, credit score, and budget. Yeah. Be honest with yourself. That's where you downgrade. Because all of downgrade us... Downgrade mental. Mental. Because I told myself when I started working, I'm going to buy like a C63 MG. That, that, that's the car that I thought I was going to buy. Yeah. But then when I got to Vasita, I saw something else. Because Gome Dunsa, that thing, yeah, the word round. When doctors graduate, they come. Oh, they come. There. They, they, they come, come with those big cars. Yeah, that, and there you see big things. And yeah, you see them when I come. I'll be there. Yeah. So I fell in love with the BMW 3 Series. And that's my dream car even today. Yeah. I told myself I'm going to buy myself a BMW 3 Series, a blue one with black rims. I was basically... <laughs> Every little now when I'm Zanzi Edishi, yeah, now yeah. there's even more but things. After graduating and started working, I was like, nah, man. So you downgraded before, before not before after. Before buying this thing and drowning in debt and whatever. Mental. I like the idea of downgrading Mental. before. Yeah, because it's easier that way. No one knows what you wanted. No. If you see me rocking up in a picante, I'm like, oh, he loves okay. picante. We move down on. To buy a German machine, then you downgrade to... After. We the boat. <laughs> that greeting after is painful. I was sure that's the car I was going to buy when I start working. Well, I started working in 2019, and after my first pay, I was like, nah, that BMW thing is not going to happen. Because I was not prepared to spend a huge percentage of my hard earned money on a silly sedan. Mentally, I had to downgrade to a realistic car that was going to be in line with my budget. So I ended up buying a second hand Polo Vivo which only costed 169,000 rands. I regret selling it too. You do? Yeah. So you have seller's, seller's remorse. Yeah, you never sell a car you love. 
We are always yeah. going to regret. I sold the Sirocco. I still think no, about it trade, today. Don't trade in. F find other ways to make money to afford the second car. Leave the car that you love parked there. Don't so, sell the so car. So you still love. see it and react. I, 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 I can't like it. It's like, man. Yeah. And it was somewhere around the area. You know, after I sold it, I did not cancel the track I made it. And I used to see now it's going well. <laughs> I can so much just walk there and grab the car. <laughs> I sold a car. Circumstances forced me to sell a car. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I gave it away to We Buy Cars for 180,000 rands. It was a BMW 3 Series, high mileage. But I loved it. Mm -hmm. And I didn't drive it much. You know, I, I just didn't need to drive it much. It was during COVID year. So we're mm -hmm. not going much. We're not going anywhere. I gave it away to We Buy Cars. And uh, I needed the money so badly. So that's why I sold it. I remember the day I sold it. I told one of the guys at the office, ah, just, just take it. <laughs> I, I didn't want to see it. it mm -hmm. Going away, you know. I didn't want to see that, that going away. Yeah. Yes. And uh, I, he called me to say they're giving us 180000 I said, it's enough for what we need to pay for. So just, mm. just, just sell it. It was gone. Two days later, he calls me. Hey, your car is on some display window I at a God dealership. Look at the price there, my man. 250 Imagine. 250 Two like, days after I sold it. That thing is painful. Sure. After selling your car, don't drive around that particular dealership that you sold. You're going to see it. Yeah, yeah it's going, you're going to have chest pains. <laughs> don't. But also there's a reverse of this conversation where, and you do that with a video of the BMW, the Gushesh. Mm -hmm. Let me play that video. I like that video because it tells an interesting story about, about prices and also investigating prices. A couple of weeks back, I spotted this Gushesh going for 120900 I decided to keep an eye on it to see how long was it going to stay at the dealership. I closely monitored the car for about two to three weeks and boom, the price dropped to 99,900. That's a whole 20,000 rand discount without even negotiating. And now I can come in and say my budget is 90,000 rands on the dot. They won't say no because they are now desperate to get rid of the car. Buying a car is not an exam, so you can't just cram the whole slappers in one night and pass. So it also speaks to an important factor. Mm -hmm. You were talking about the process of buying a car, shopping around. That is shopping around. That's the shopping around. After you've set yourself a budget, that's going to work for you. Yeah. And you start the shopping around process. After you've downgraded mental. Yeah, after mental. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say buy 100,000 rents. I'm not going to say buy a big one. But you work out a budget that's going to work for you. Yeah. And from there... As the shopping around. And, and that's... it must be before, way before you actually want to buy the car. Don't just go on a Monday when you want to buy the car on Friday. Yes. You are not going it's to too little it. time. Yeah. yeah. Like you have to start shopping around it. If you want to buy a car in June, start shopping in January. So this particular example we just saw now of the BMW, that happens often, it seems. Mm -hmm. You just spotted one just scenario. Spotted. Exactly. Because now what happens is that when dealership get like stock, mm. they like overpriced these cars but it actually cost them money to keep the cars on the floor of course so for the longer they stay there the longer it costs them money because they have to insure them and whatever but when they're they just not making money they, they, and yeah. they realize that no man it, it's costing us a lot of money to keep this car on the floor we can so much just drop the price and just let Get it go it, yeah. yeah it will be someone's problem because if they just keep them there it's costing them. Yeah. So you have to start shopping around and spot the deals. You mark them with, okay, this and this. I'll and check this. it again in a yeah, week. I'll, I'll check, check it in, in a month. Yeah. And also check from another dealership, the same car model, everything make, and even the mileage. And go check it another dealership. What mm. are they like selling the car for? One thing that I guess we appreciate about this process that you're explaining is that you cannot decide today and mm. buy a car tomorrow. You can't. You have to be patient because ultimately you'll be paying for this for so long you, you don't want the to thing for five years a car is a very big purchase yeah high value purchase you can't just buy it now and return it if you return you saw what happened to me <laughs> you lose i mean i can afford to take the hammering but someone else can't can't yeah you lose thirty thousand your whole life will like Char, what a mess, eh? I like that example. When I saw that, it's like, she's and I like that car. Maybe you should tell me where to get Money it. Money, Pete. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> I have classic cars. Yeah. I call, them, I call them, uh, uh, what's Slay Queens? Get a Slay Queen. 
beautiful to look why at. Why do we like call our cars like female names? And no, 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 no. Yes, guys, I do that. My my car's name was like Sabina, my first car. <laughs> Listen to that. Mine was Matilda. My first car was Matilda. <laughs> and the GTI was uh, Vanessa. Ah, listen to that. My, my younger sister actually hates the palette. Because? <laughs> she wants Vanessa. That's the car. That I, yo, yo, she's, she's always labeling them my car. Wow. So she hates that palina. She wants Vanessa. We want Vanessa. Oh, Vanessa. And roof and whatever. Oh, all of that. Yeah. Jeez. So I call my car Vanessa and Sabina. No, I mean, I mean, it's a generic name for, for, for classic cars. I, I collect uh, uh, Mustangs. Love them. Love them for long. All of, uh, I have two of them, and I've had them for a long, long time. Uh, at least the youngest is uh, seven years, eight years in the yard. The mm -hmm. oldest is 11 years. That's how oh. long I've had it. The red, the red Mustang. Love those cars. But I'll tell you, ne? Mm -hmm. that dude is it. Hey. To own them. And when I use are runners. I cover them for sun and rain and all of that, but they're, they're running. I call them Slay Queens because they're beautiful to look at. You're guaranteed to get a reaction. Oh, yes. But might stack and not. Is a stack. And that's another thing. Is a stack. You're almost guaranteed. They drive to Pretoria and back. At some point, is a, is a hotel. Is a tea. I'm not I'm well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And once you find out what the problem is, yeah, it's yeah, a five, cars, ten thousand rands cost. Yeah, it's, it's not worth it. No, these old cars are actually like uh, expensive to to run. Yeah, because that's the thing with like the old cars, they are cheaper to buy, but the maintenance mm. is a nightmare. It's and with terrible. the new ones, it's expensive to buy, but cheaper to cheaper to to maintain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but then the classic ones are like really yeah. Uh, we've looked at Beijing, uh, your favorite car. Of course, my dream car. Your dream car. There's a, there's a Mzanzi edition. Have you Mzanzi have edition. you been exposed to it much? That's one of the videos that I posted. Even it was a great one. Uh. The first video to go above twenty thousand views. That's wow. where I was reviewing the Mzanzi edition. Yes. There with my first nyana. That was not even balanced. <laughs> I, I didn't even have a mic. I was using the the microphone that's on board. Oh, oh yes, on the laptop. On the laptop. So I was just taking the laptop, putting it on my face, and, and then <laughs> yeah. Sometimes the voice is fast. Sometimes I <laughs> laugh at that thing, and people really loved it. I'm like, hey, wow. that's we. I love that car. Let's talk about the what BMW does. They always ha add extras, extras, extras. This, 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 That's this, actually this. a German thing. It's not just it's not a BM yeah, thing. It's not yeah, BMW is a German thing. Whether you buy an Audi, Mercedes, VW, but uh, VW is too much with the extras. <laughs> <laughs> VW is too much with the extras. You have to tick a lot of boxes. Yeah, even BMW has that thing. You buy a million rents car, but you have to add options up to four hundred thousand rents. Four hundred thousand rents on Jesus. options. What? That's For a lot. A million rands car. Mm -hmm. What? Even the Audi. What? What? What's the car? RS3. Mm -hmm. It was recently launched. The, the starting price was like 1.2 million, but you can put extras, and the car will go up to like five, 1.5 million. With the introduction of the, the many Chinese brands that give you an entire car with all the extras as Everything. the price, as 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 part of the of the base price. Surely that must be a big competition for these guys. They are, they are starting now to see. With the new VW sedan, the Polo sedan, yeah. there's no option. Yeah, yeah, it's actually it's probably yeah. your, your very last video. Yeah, I yeah think that is. I posted recently. Yeah. There's actually no optional extras. Whatever comes with the car is all you get. They are starting to see the light. But you can't do this thing. Yeah, you, yeah, you, can't, you are not going to keep up. People now, they are like... I was about to ask, is the <laughs> consumer getting smarter? Yeah, they, they actually are. And they are teaching each other. Now I get a lot of those comments that I'm teaching my friend this and the guy's like, my brother referred me to your channel. Blah, blah, blah. I, <laughs> I'm about to buy a car and I yeah. went to your I channel. I have kids who are like in like grade nine and I'm watching this thing. My mom allows me to watch you because you're a doctor and you watch cars. I'm like, oh, these guys. <laughs> and they love cars. Yeah. And they're starting to see. They're like, no, when I grow up, I want to buy this and this and this. But there's this other crazy one that I got was from a guy, mm. he said he's in grade nine and he wants to be a teacher when he finished school and his dream car is a VW Polo R-Line. I was like, Yo. oh. Yo, people are like, they have money. <laughs> but what did you say? He said, ah, it's I not going to happen. No, because I, could, I, I can't <laughs> shatter the boy's dreams. Come on. <laughs> you basically say, ah, <laughs> yeah, that's the mentality that ah, you have to work Downgrade on. the mind. Yeah.
There Love it is. It you had a downgrade the mind moment. Yeah, but I couldn't tell the kid. I mean, you can't demotivate a kid. They did that with me when I wanted to be a lawyer. It's bad. You can't be demotivating people. Yeah. <laughs> Dream cars versus, <laughs> let's see. Let's. I'm sure I'll find Al Beijing. I did. This one we did. Here's this one. For those who don't know, dealerships are always willing to give all sorts of discounts on brand new cars in order to push sales. They have a set target of sales for every month. And if you come in at the right time, usually towards the end of the month, you may happen to be that one customer they need to reach their target and they'll do everything in their power to make sure they sell you a car. I hope I'll be able to demonstrate that for you in this gym. What is the demonstration? Have you managed to demonstrate that? Yep. There was a part two of that video, actually. Yeah. So we shortlisted two cars. It was the Swift mm. and a Picant. Okay. That's part one. Yeah. We went home. Following week, we had to go for the negotiations. Mm. Ah, Mokel changed her mind. Oh. The Picano, she didn't want the Picano because <laughs> uh, the boot space is bad and whatever. Okay. She saw an I-10 and mm. she loved the I-10. So we got the I-10. It was going for like 189 Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was 189 the retail price. Okay. Before the admin fee. Because when you see a price, they're saying 120 You don't just pay 120 There's and go. some extra. Yeah, there's like your... Delivery. Delivery. Some... <laughs> yeah, After yes. adding all those things, the car was going to go to like 206 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. 207 yeah. And I said there, my budget is 200,000 rents on the on dot. dot. So I went to the hun to Hyundai. We negotiated the deal on the... I I train I ten oh it was mm. an I ten we negotiated on the I ten mm, mm. the total price was going to be two hundred and seven okay so I managed to negotiate down that car to like two o one but I said no my man I said my budget is two hundred thousand rands mm. not two o one deal with the thousand deal with the thousand <laughs> I chopped a thousand yana and there was like a six hundred and thirty six rands and thirty six cents like two hundred thousand and, and six hundred I'm like eh. Hey, hey. I'm walking away. And he's thinking, he's walking away because of 600 rands. And they, a lot of, I got a lot of comments saying this guy is actually crazy. <laughs> you are walking away from a deal because of 630. I'm like, yeah, my budget. My budget is my budget. Yeah. That's the point that I was trying to show yeah. from the process. You need yeah. to be honest with yourself. What can you really afford? Even if it's just a one cent. That's why I had to emphasize that point. <laughs> That's not even a cent more. The budget mm. is 200,000 rands on the dot. Did you get the deal? We moved on to a different... Did it, we so they lost the deal because of the 600. I wonder if they regretted that. So I went to Suzuki. There, Wasn't your lady saying, ha? Ah. I'm the Ronaldo of that thing. Yes. So I was doing my thing there. <laughs> went to Suzuki. There, I didn't even, like take five minutes yeah. because I tried negotiating a deal before this whole thing. I tried negotiating a deal just to see how this thing works because sometimes mm. you have to try and mm. you have yeah, to yeah, if you can, yeah. <laughs> so I went there the first time. They offered me to to or to sell me the car for like the retail price and yeah. cut out all the admin fees. Of course, and yes, yes. Yeah, that's what they offered and the car I was... I think gonna, I remember that video, yeah. The yeah. car was going to be 208. So that was me testing so I knew, what, okay, this thing, if you ask nicely, it can actually work. Yeah. So I got there, I told them, we like this car. It costs two o eight, but I mean, I have 200000 on the door. And we're buying it if you make it 200000 yeah. Oh, they just made that thing 1999 They added a smash and grab, everything, took the car. Nice. 200,000 rands on the dot and we got one cent change <laughs> you did you did you talk about black friday and cars and and, and some of your last videos Doesn't and you say matter. black friday are you cool? there's no black friday on cars but but there is black friday advertising around cars yeah it's advertising yeah. That's, that's it yeah it's advertising but you are we are going to suffer because a million rents car will forever remain a million rents car. Mm. You will maintain it like a million rents car. Even if when now you can buy it for 200,000 rents, yeah. you will have to maintain it like a million rents car. It will also behave like a million rents car. It will behave like a million rents car. <laughs> so a million rents car will forever be a million. Even if you got it at a Black Friday deal, whatever, yeah. you have not prepared yourself for the maintenance of that million rents car. Mm. So you have to be like... The petrol our, consumption of a million rents car. The, Insurance, yes, because for a million rents car insurance, we're not paying less than four thousand. Just that's a car, yes, that's a whole car. That's one thing that's discouraging me from buying a BMW 3 Series. Because when I'm trying to check the insurance, I'm not paying anything less than 3.5. I'm like, man, 3.5 <laughs> every month on insurance, 
That's I, a can, car. I can buy a Picanto with that money. <laughs> so it's not happening. I was talking to your lady earlier. I said, hey, I got time to spend. <laughs> Do, do, I'm do, recruiting the whole country now. Do, do you think it, it makes it makes you a, a well better content creator of this type of content because exactly. it's your true personality? Exactly. Yeah, I'm not trying to sell people things that I'm not doing. And actually, with most of my content, I try to do the things myself. Mm. When I did that video about downgrading, yeah, I actually downgraded to a, a Swift because I was driving a Suzuki Palin. Yes. So I was like, okay. I, to show people that there's really no shame in downgrading. Yeah. I'm a doctor and I can drive a... I can go low. Uh, yeah, the low-end budget car. So I had to swipe cars with my lady and I, I'm now a Suzuki Swift driver. And you're happy. Yeah. When I'm talking about selling a car, I go and sell a car. Yeah. All GTI, document everything. Sure. So people can see the things I, I talk about. And I actually say in one of my videos, it comes also to the budget and the shopping around. Yeah. The cheapest car is not always the best car to buy. True. I throw that line... I throw it like a, a, a lot of time in one of, in my videos. Yeah. But the cheapest car is not always the best car to buy. You have to consider your quality of the car, the safety of the car. Because there's no point in buying a car that has one airbag and no ABS. And that thing is just a... It's going to kill you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. The quid, they sold a lot of quids. With one airbag and no ABS. People bought those things. Yo. And they're still around. Yeah, you see yes. a lot of them. Yes. They had to like change because people were complaining too much. Now there's like a, the one with ABS and uh, two uh. airbags because they see. How much is a quid? Around 200. But the. Um, Around maybe 170, 200. But the Suzuki that you speak of spends, it's about 249, 240. Which one? The one, uh, the Toyota. It, oh, yes, 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 yes. The Toyota I is paid it? paid like two, 225 from, for mine. What is it? The, the Balino. Balino. Yeah. Balino. Okay. Now it starts at 231. You seem to think that's a good value car. If Toyota can put a Toyota badge on it, that's where I'm putting my money. You seem to think it's the best value car right now. At the moment. Yes. At that price. The features you get, your parking sensors, your screen, reverse cameras, mm. the service plan you get with the car. Overall, I, I think it's like, because when you look at the price of a uh, Polo Vivo, mm. I think it starts at 240, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. It's sitting at 240, and you can't even compare it with... You that. get none of that stuff. You, 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 get, you just get a car Yeah, you with just nothing. get a car with rolling down windows, Ooh. no reverse camera. Palino has a yeah, electronic window. All over, all over. And <laughs> that, that car, I think for me, is the car of the year. If they don't give Suzuki car of the year for the Palino, <laughs> hi, the, the motor industry is a scam. It's manga manga business. Palino and the Toyota version. What is that? What is the what is the Toyota version of that car? The Starlet. It's the Starlet. It's more expensive than the original. No Hana fan. The Hong Kong. Do you still get all those extras in the Starlet? You all those you get less features, but the car is more expensive. Because in the entry level Starlet, you don't get the features you get in the in the in the Palino. Yeah. yeah. Entry level Palino. So it's actually a bit crazy there. Yeah, because Why I'm... Why would you chop down features and then charge, and charge it? it well, the badge? it's the bad. And their warranty is shorter, by the way. If you buy the On Toyota, the Starlet. Yeah, yeah. In the Toyota, the warranty is shorter because it's three years. Yeah. You speak also about um, a dealer network and all of that. The Suzuki is not serviced by Toyota. Obviously, it's serviced by Toyota, by Suzuki. Yeah, they say some parts they share and whatever, because the cars are made in the same factory. They under the shell. It's, it's the same it's exact car. Thing. The only difference I've is heard literally the people best. saying saying that you can share parts, but yeah, it, it just makes sense. But you must service it at at Suzuki. Suzuki. Yeah, is that also not a, di a disadvantage to buy the Suzuki instead of the Starlet? Yeah, I also mentioned that in my videos that the dealer network, like from where I stay, I think I, there's like three Toyota dealerships. Uh, how many Only Suzuki? One Suzuki. Suzuki. Yeah. So that's the thing. You have options with Toyota. You have that comfort. Or okay, mm. you can find a dealership within like a 25 kilometer, kilometer radius. Yeah. Mm. But with Suzuki, you have to drive to like your metros and whatever. But now the Tila network is expanding. So yeah. yeah. You, you've seen the video I did with, uh, uh, what's his name? Mike Mabasa. Mike Mabasa. Look at you. you. And I grew up with him. You know his name way quicker than me. <laughs> he talks of the EVs. He talks of an, an industry that we, are, we could suffer in the long run if we don't play along with the rest mm. of the world. Mm. What's, your, what's your take on, on EVs and South Africa's a reaction towards them. Well, reaction to nothing because there's nothing there's available. Nothing, yeah. yeah. They're not really realistic cars, if we're being honest. Mm. If we're looking at the current status quo, 
in South Africa, if he's, ah, we're not really there. Yeah. They are the future, but we're not really there. We are not. Because the infrastructure that has to come with these EVs, and also this propaganda of saying that there are, there are zero emissions and what, what. You have to burn <laughs> coal to, like, make the electricity make the car. to run this thing. <laughs> I know. it's a and So now imagine... Weird if, logic. If, if South Africa now, every person is charging their car overnight, the whole country has mm. electric cars and everyone at night is plugging in their car. <laughs> Low the electricity demand. And, they are, they are, you know, we have people who are comparing, like, the price of petrol now and electricity saying, yeah, it's cheaper to buy an electric car because to charge it, full charge is to run, pay, what, what, what. Pay. Mm. But now once everyone starts driving a electric car, the demand for the power is going to increase. The price of, of electricity will just shoot up the same mm. way we're complaining with petrol. So you yeah. can't really compare the two at the yeah. moment. And the infrastructure that is needed to run an Whoa. electric car is just crazy. And in South Africa, we know ourselves. Lima Para, the vandalism, they are stealing railways. You find someone with an Audi charger, it goes to Mbisa, <laughs> That's what, will, that's what will end up happening. So we need like to also work on the infrastructure. That, yeah. That's where we have to start. Electric cars are a future, but at the moment... They are not a, an immediate future yeah. for South Africa. And also the thing of only introducing a million rands one, like a three million rands car. Like if you want mass adoption, try with the low. Start low. Start with the low end model. If you are serious, if this thing is the future, mm. why is it only limited to the guys who can only afford three million rands? There was a Nissan Leaf many, many years ago mm -hmm. with electric car, but it didn't go very far. Also, you, it's talking about how to charge it and so forth. It's a complicated exercise. And the range there, you can... The range is also like tricky. Like the cheapest electric car you can get now is a Mini, Mini SE, I think. It's mm. about 700,000 rands. And the range is around 200 kilometers. You can't go to Devon. We always measure with the a, Devon trip with, yeah, with a single with, charge. Oh, Cape Town, John is back to Cape Town with a single charge. You can't. 700,000 rands car, you can only drive 200 kilometers. And on your drive back or two Devon or Cape Town, but you know, good nature, good people. Smang man, Mong Canada, it's no longer there. Or oh, someone is charging. <laughs> you have to wait thirty minutes for that guy to charge, and also another thirty minutes for your car to charge. That's an ah uh ah. -uh. Yeah, it's not a practical thing. We are not. We are not future, near. We are, we, are far, we, are we are not near. We have to first deal with Amapara, who are like vandalizing the railways and whatnot. Because the same guys who are stealing cables are going to steal these chargers. It's efforts. There's some <laughs> efforts now with uh, with these new regulations of trading in in uh, uh, in steel. You have to be. It's I, just certified and all of that. The, the sale of like those. No, importation of, of steel requires a, a license slash a certification. You can't just do it. You have to get a tax clearance certificate. Can't trade in steel. Mm -hmm. For me, we are a minute too late. We could have done this five years ago. We waited for the body to decay. Yeah. <laughs> before we decided yeah. that maybe it's time to that fix taking it. Taking everything you know? now, even taking taps. Yeah. You woke up in the morning like. Your tab is no longer there. You wake, wake up. Mm. <laughs> yes. The future of your of your YouTube channel, what is it? Ah, it's actually crazy because I don't see, like, for me, YouTube is just a hobby. Yeah. Like I, I was telling you of mm. I didn't really think this thing was going to, like, boom, like, shoot up. <laughs> well, I mean, now I'm a doctor. Hey, I'm Dr. Sam. Yeah, I'm, I'm owning it now. You said I should, that, own, you should own it. It's yeah, yours. <laughs> I, I'm a doctor. So YouTube is just a way for me to just refresh my mind. Yeah. Because now working in a hospital setting, it's very traumatic. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, it is very traumatic. And there was this myth, Coca would, yeah, doctors take pills so that they, they are not scared when they see <laughs> traumatic. It's a lie. You are not going to take any pills there. Mm. You see those traumatic cases, they're sober minded, and you go home and deal with that trauma by yourself. Yo. So if you have nothing to like refresh your mind with, we are going to suffer. Man. Yeah, that's how. That's why people like end up committing suicide and be like, ah, but that guy had a good job, mm. big money. He was driving every car he wants. It's that trauma there that you see people with broken bones. Some are chowed by pit bulls, but sure. people are not violent. What do I die? Those things <laughs> must go. Yes. Yeah. So you see all that trauma, Ooh. and you think, ah, I'm used to this thing. Ah, it's just a broken bone. But deep it down, stays with you. you take some of those cases at home, you'll be sitting there watching Skim Sam and be like, hey, Mara, that day, you got to do it. Sure. That was, <laughs> was, that was really a mess. Yeah. So for me, I think I use cars 
to just refresh my mind after that long day of traumas and whatever but I don't deal with traumas a lot yeah, because I'm yeah. on the dentist on the years, so yes. I only just see broken jaws broken teeth but that's still bad it's still trauma <laughs> still Someone bad coming like with a jaw fracture multiple jaw fractures and you have to wire those things back and fix the jaw and whatever yes then you go home sometimes the mechanism of injury there like yo people are eh, people are eh, brutal as you say you were just you know when you say i was just joking <laughs> with this youtube channel mm -hmm. and it's working and it's it's working is it now. demanding more of your time now people like want content back to back they actually get upset if i promise a video and i i don't you don't get around to yeah, doing it i don't post <laughs> yo people will like drag me and i i can't keep up with these things cuz <laughs> it, it, it's really demanding it's really demanding and i think i will need a team eventually yeah. cuz uh, i made it to the like youtube black voices yes. uh, yeah fun class of 2022 so yeah. they tend to support channels youtube black voices fans yes yeah fans the fans. fans very important <laughs> it's very important yeah yes. i have to reemphasize that so yeah they support channels and whatever so yeah i think maybe i will have to like grow my team mm. so that i can yeah be able to like to do more content, yeah. yes cuz hey alone i can't cuz at the moment my channel is a one man show i do everything you the record you guy, the editor i have to research i put the information together match this match that yes. everything is on me And mm. I am a doctor Monday to Friday. I only do cars on weekends. On weekends. And yeah, there's no even family time there's anymore. No, no, not real. <laughs> People, they just want content. Hey, content, you say you are going to post a, a post content. <laughs> I'm like, oh, but guys, I'm busy. I have a life outside. Oh, yes. You died. I don't want to hear those no, things. No, no, no. You said you are going to post a video. Post it. I'm like, hey. It's not easy. We we were we were on two videos a week. We've reduced it back to one video a week because it's not easy. I was doing the same thing. I was yeah. doing like one on weekend, one midweek. Ah, but I chopped the midweek one. No, no, no. It's, not it's too much work. Midweek, I'm coming from teeth and yes, broken yes. jaws. And <laughs> yeah, I can't. I just want to relax. I can't be, hey, welcome to my channel after seeing Chobi. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have a life. I just want to sit and jay. If my lady starts talking, I'm going to Please. And you 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 won an award with a uh, uh, multi oh, yes, choice I, with I DSTV. Yeah, DSTV yes. Content Creator Award. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think that's where I realized good no man this thing is actually going somewhere. There's something. Yeah, because yeah. before that ah, I was just clowning a lot. I didn't even think people were like seeing these things. <laughs> But now with time like I'm like no man. This thing is actually even we saw me. you and thought I need to See, put you I'm here. Now I'm Mashabela now. <laughs> we saw that ah, I like the stuff. I want to. I want to. Mm -hmm. I want to have this chat because I saw you also travel to Cape Town, to, Cape Town to hang yeah. out now with Chiri. What is that? What was that about? Hey, hey, hey that, that that's actually crazy because we didn't just bump onto each other and Chiri. That thing was actually planned. Wow. Which Chiri DM'd me it was crazy. Yes. What happened was. Uh, Sometime in Yananje, I saw Uchiro posted a picture of himself with Bo Jeremy Clarks in the ah, of, of Top Gear. Yeah. But it was taken like way back. So I commented in that post mm. and said, you are the best in the industry when it comes to it in South Africa and I would love to meet you one day. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. I'll watch his stuff the all the time. Yeah, Chiro, yeah. Chiro is the best. Yeah. So yeah, then he responded to that and ah, it, it Nothing didn't amount to, to anything. Yeah. Then like a week later, he DM'd me like, "Hey, hi, it's Chiro." Blah blah blah. He even puts the cast out cause of things there so that I can. It's, it's the not, real guy. It's the real guy. <laughs> yeah, if you like to chat further, you can arrange a call. Blah 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 blah. Mm. Like, hey, I'm, not, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in, my man. I'm in. Yes. So yeah, we arranged the meeting. And the same time, he like DM'd me. I was going to Cape Town yeah. for the YouTube Black Voices event. Okay. And yeah. Shiro is based in Cape Town, so we arranged a meeting. Let's hang out. Yeah, so yes. He actually came to the hotel to see me. What's his intention with, with this meeting? Ah, uh, we're talking some stuff, Jay. Yeah. We will, uh, yeah, there is yeah, the yeah, stuff. Like, yeah, it's a stuff, Jay. Boy stuff yeah. and other things, Jay. Yeah. Potential yeah, collabs and whatever. I, But we're just chilling there. Like, I think we said for like an hour. So yes. Just sitting. At some point, like, we went out. He came to see me, like, in a Subaru. <laughs> and we went out. He was telling me about the car, how he got it, and how he just, just drove the car mm. and whatever. It was almost like I was watching a live review. <laughs> Say, and it has a pro drive. What was the pro drive? You should have taken a video. You probably yeah, did. I did. I didn't. You didn't. I didn't. It's only now. I'm Should like, have like, taken a video like of that this. That guy was actually doing a review, and I didn't notice. Yeah. yeah it has a pro drive. What? What? The spoiler is actually not. But what? It's custom. The game. Like, wow. <laughs> it was almost like watching a live review. Have you always looked up to his work? Actually, I did. Yeah. And I study a lot of channels, by the way. And I think I mentioned to you earlier that uh, 
my channel was sort of inspired like by this other Asian guy. Mm, mm. It's not like an original idea. On YouTube, there's nothing original. No. No matter what you can think of. There's a remake of there's something. There's someone who's already doing that. Yeah. If you are thinking about makeup, someone is already doing, <laughs> doing makeup. Yes. If you are thinking about selling, someone is already doing that. Yeah. So there's this other guy, this Asian guy. It's crazy that he's speaks in a foreign language. I don't hear what he says. Yeah. But I, I watch his video. Like I can watch a 30 minutes video. Like, <laughs> but he watched the whole thing. I watch 10 minutes. I'm like, okay, that's <laughs> nice. But I don't hear a single way this wow. thing. And I'm actually starting to think he's saying the same things. Yeah. But every day I'm charam charam charam. I'm like, even last week he said charam charam charam. We are playing with us when but that guy has like over five hundred thousand subscribers. Wow. Only reviews, stationary cars, no launch events, no test drive. At least me I mix it up a bit. Yes, he yes. doesn't test drive any cars, just stationary cars. Do you find that uh, car dealers, car brands, or manufacturers are reacting differently to you now, slowly? Yeah. Or oh, it's I'm, still I'm, the same I'm half hour? like speaking with a lot of PRs, and now it's crazy because they are reaching out to me now. Mm. It's no longer me who's now. Who's calling? I, I stopped knocking on doors like, like sometimes. But you did at some point to say, yeah, hey, yeah, can I, I, I? Yeah, I tried. I was still at somewhere around 15,000 subscribers, yeah. and they were telling me all sorts of stories. But I'm like, ah, you don't have enough. Yeah, let me let me leave this thing yeah. and, and just do my own thing. But now they are coming back. Yeah. There's some are reaching out to me, like different companies, even outside cars and whatever. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, hey, this thing. Yeah, it's becoming big. but you're not likely to stop doctoring. I think I love that more. Yeah, the thing with me, I love making an impact. Yes, that, that's what I love to make an impact on someone's life. Yeah, that's what I'm about, and that's also what my channel is all about. It's no longer even about the numbers. I'm sitting at about 85,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. as I'm speaking to you now. And I'm approaching 100,000 subscribers, but it's no longer a thing for me. I'm no longer yeah. pushing numbers. I don't care about numbers, the views, the what do I. It's about an impact. Yes. Changing yes. someone's life, saving someone from making a bad Bad decision. mistake, yeah. So it's about the impact. Now, numbers don't move me anymore. Do you know, interesting you say that there are people in my office watch the numbers 10 times more than I do. I can go, I have that YouTube studio, where that app mm -hmm. that gives you the numbers. Yeah, in the back end. Yes, I, I hardly go there. And they always say, have you noticed what, what did well? It's like, okay. Because when we started, it was never ever about the numbers. My, you, you actually should. My obs obsession, however, and you'll tell me and you'll guide me and advise me. My obsession is always the stories. I obsess about the stories so much. I prepare so much for them. Yeah. That that's all that matters to me. How do we title this one? Uh, which one? This one? Yeah. I'll give you the title when we're done. Because <laughs> now you have to like see, or okay, yeah, you reflect, well, we come yes, at this and this yes. and this. I'll give you the title of my feed. Do you know what happens to us? TikTok. Mm -hmm. I don't even post on TikTok. Mm -hmm. People take clips of ah. our show and go to you TikTok. See, recently people have been like, making fake accounts with my name. That's where I realized that I'm big now. <laughs> Why would you make a fake account of a random guy? I'm not on TikTok, but if you go to TikTok now, there's a Muzi Sambo with my videos, my face and what. But that's free marketing for me because they see those short clips there then they go to the original channel then I get the views. Interesting. That, that's what's ha happening with us. So I, yeah. I, I let it be. So yeah. Because you, you... some are like taking it too far and trying to scam people, texting yeah. them on WhatsApp. They oh, say, they say it's that's you. Where, yeah, that's where it becomes bad. Give ways and what I'm like no some are on telegram I'm not on telegram Jeez. if you get a text from someone telling me about telegram and what's a, I don't tell not you it's not me hi but they're there you're big now man hey that's when I realized hey something is happening <laughs> hey, I'm a, I'm a billy still. even when I'm going to the mall it's crazy I people see. recognize yes. you yes Wow. It, it's crazy. <laughs> That's why I was I don't like showing my face in my face. You you almost never. Yeah. You show your your your, your hands because hand. you're holding the steering mm. wheel. And obviously there's a lot of your voice naturally. Yeah. And that's about it. And the song you use. That song was made by a guy from Park Zanino, I think. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, it's, it's a, I discovered the guy from Instagram. Uh, he actually te texted me and said, hey. for like for financial advice and cars, and I, he wanted a polo. He's a teacher, uh. so uh, he had to uh, like, <laughs> bring him down. Look, down. Here's the thing. Blah yes. blah 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 blah. But after going through his profile, I realized that he also makes music. So he's yeah. a teacher. Side hustle music. Uh. Because internet is taking over. Whether we like it or not, that thing he had a lot degree and what what. No, yeah. <laughs> I still got to look. Look at I'm on radio with a master's degree. 
and I do this. <laughs> uh, so I got the guy there. I checked his profile. I see a lot of music because I I was a DJ before. Yes, so yes. when I see like beats, I'm like, hey, this you guy, get excited. Yeah, this guy is onto something. Ah, oh, we talk. We, he always like gives me music when okay. like to test on the channel. Whenever wow. whenever it's making, he's actually good. I will plug you with his music. You, yeah, do that. He's actually he makes like good music. Do people react to the song? As much. All the time. Yeah. They, they actually want, like I have a lot of unreleased songs from that guy. People want it. Listen to Where that. Can we get the song. Some, they even pay money. <laughs> like he sells the music. What? When, like, after making a song, he doesn't like upload it on like, you know, no. he just gives the song. If you want it, you get it from him. <laughs> 150. Listen for, to that. Listen yeah, to but that. eventually, yeah, it goes out there. Yeah. yeah but, and obviously because he doesn't uh, register them properly, so they don't demonetize your, your channel. They yeah, don't have a, 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 made in the bedroom. Yes, yeah, they don't have a yeah, strike. Yeah. They don't have a copyright strike. It's mine. It's made for me. You can't yes. find it. And people want that song. Like, <laughs> what's the title of the song? What's I, you can't share them that thing. It's my song. I can't give it to you. <laughs> I can't, it's my song. Yeah. Because you start sharing it and people, then I get a strike. Yeah. <sighs> now it becomes a registered song. Yes, that, it. that, and it's like all the videos oh, you've loaded. The videos you've, like, Imagine every, that. The whole thing. Imagine the, the whole, that. That's one reason why. Why I, I can't leave my job for YouTube yeah. at the moment? Because uh. YouTube controls everything. You have no say. Yeah. You can wake up tomorrow. Your job is suspended. Yes. Gone. And they tell you reasons that don't make sense to yeah. you. Gone. And, and you have no say. Yeah. Now you've left your well, your job just for making silly videos there. What, what What's your advice to those that want to start YouTube channels? Start now. Mm. Start today after watching this video. <laughs> go and post. Don't wait to because most people say, Yeah, I don't have a camera. I'm still organizing. I don't have a drone. I don't have a Celeron. What, what? Yes. It, it does not use whatever you have. Because you shoot with a phone. All my videos are made with a phone, believe yeah. it or not. All my videos. I shoot all my videos with a phone. Imagine. And that. I started with like this other Samsung and I was using a Acer computer that I bought in grade 11. I went to Varsity with that computer. I used it even after graduation. <laughs> the first few videos in my channel, I made them with that computer that Jeez. I bought in grade 11. Imagine that. It's a that. thing that I bought for 3000 And it's, it's... It made my channel. Does YouTube make money? A lot of money. Yeah. A lot of money because from the the money that we're making, they take like 45%. So it's 45 55 Yes. From the ad revenue, I only get... I, myself as the creator, I get... 55% of the ad revenue and they, yeah. they take the 45. The percentage you get is good enough to give somebody a life. Exactly. Yeah. And a, a balino. Yes. <laughs> Cash. Yes. Sort of. Well, yeah. You can, you can, you can, one can afford to pay for a car every month. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's that. So but start actually, posting on, now. Online, online online content creation is actually a thing now. It's I the future. It's the, everyone is always on their phone now. I, I think, like, yeah, I li that's what I like about yeah. COVID. It taught us what you can make money from anywhere, from anything. Any, exactly. Anything. You don't need to wake up and drive and go to an office and mm. start there with what you have. The same way MacG started, like sitting in a couch with a tablet, yeah. not knowing what they are doing. It's actually the not knowing what you are doing part. <laughs> that's, that's very important. Because yeah. if you want to wait until you are sure this is the niche, you are trying to, you will find things like that will like, discourage you yeah just start posting and when you look back at your old videos you will laugh at yourself but <laughs> it's gonna be like an up, 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 uplifting thing yeah. right? that's where i started and now i'm here you start with whatever you have look don't at wait us now. to have a fancy camera i don't have drones i don't have a team i yeah. don't have like i just use my phone and you get home you edit your voice that's you move it. on that's it Eighty-five thousand people are following that dr musi musi sambo i wish you MJ. well <laughs> yeah, no, we're going home. We're going home. <laughs> I wish you well, Otiam. I I'm inspired by your work. Uh, I'm, I always root for the for the for the little guy. It's surprising I I support Sundowns because it's not a little team. But you get what I mean. <laughs> I always root for the little guy. What? Ah, poor guy. What a sad story. <laughs> I always root for the little guy. And and when I I've been watching your videos for a while, I saw the growth. 
I love your style. I love the way you approach it. I love how you simplify buy car buying process because it's something that can be overwhelming for a lot of people. Uh, and you really, first time. yeah, first time buyers, they lost. Even people who bought cars before, they made mistakes and they probably continue to make the same mistakes yeah, again. Exactly. Yes. I have people who are like older than me, they've probably owned three, three, four cars. They're like, I didn't know that. And I'm like on my third car now. Listen to that. But, you know. this <laughs> so that's why when I watch your stuff, I like the simplicity of how you make this thing. And I think for me, it proves that there's always a market for anything. Inclu look at what you didn't think this thing will work. Mm -hmm. And I like how when you tell your story that you've tried other things. Before. Yes, yeah. and you had to take them down and try other things. And one of them worked. And I see you with 100,000 uh, subscribers in no time at all. Two months, to be more precise. You see? I run my analytics. <laughs> with analytics. So you can measure, yeah, like, this is where numbers. we're going. You can't play with numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Numbers. Hey. And, and you know that, and I like that you say it's not even the story of your life, you know? It's a, it's indeed a, a side hustle. Yeah. And when a side hustle starts it being it so, so much fun and demanding your time, I think it's always it's a good the, thing. Um, yeah. And I wish you well out here. And thank you for having me. Like, I don't even know why I'm sitting here. <laughs> because the legend that sat on this very same chair before me, man. <laughs> I'll tell you who was the last person, who Vati Swandar. Mm -hmm. Ndaka, I have to say it right. Fatih Swandaka was the last person to sit on yeah, that chair. Legends, a lot of legends. But Prof, Mamukheti Paking, they sat here. Yeah. Oh, Prof. I'm like, what am I going to say? <laughs> you know, when I got that text, I was like, hey, should I go? Not sure. I it took you, like, took you some time yeah, to react. I'm like, hey, yeah. <laughs> I was still processing this thing. I'm like, I don't think I have content for that platform because the legends that you have here, yeah. hey, I were actually doing a big thing here. Yeah. We're very lucky, I must admit to get the people we get. Mm -hmm. But something that people don't know, and I've said it once or twice, we get more no's than yeses. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you can have anyone. Here. Not really. Like the guys who are coming here, like they are serious names. Yeah. Serious the, we, names. the last video we posted uh, now is uh, someone who is so big in... Uh, in a sector that is so important in Africa and around the world is uh, Dr. Imtia Suleiman of Gift of the Givers. Yeah, I saw, I it's saw a that huge video. I and that episode. It's not the type that will do very well, yeah. but the story is so important. Yeah. I'm glad I got the chance to archive it. Do you know, it. it's archived on my channel. Happening, COVID, people, food pass. I saw that one. You know what I mean? <laughs> and they actually don't do well. People must watch these videos. Mm. The, the video that you think, oh, this is my best video. Like I've researched, I put my everything. You know, doesn't Damn. do so well. It's the so, one where we are just clowning. <sighs> Ah, so South Africans like to clown. Yeah, we are, we are, we are just a bunch of <laughs> I, I got a call from a senior executive at the SABC who said, Yes, like content, Yako. <laughs> That's when I said, Okay, we should keep going. Yeah, yeah. Because exactly. sometimes it tends to, you tend to be discouraged by exactly the point you just made now when certain videos don't do well. Do well, and you think this is the best content yeah. I've ever put together, best piece of content. And it doesn't get the views. I'm like, let me tell you, Vati Swap, I didn't sleep reading her book. So the interview will be worthwhile. And I remember thinking, and then the video won't do well. <laughs> but it's fine. The title. <laughs> the title. Minutes. <laughs> the Analytics. Title. Yes. Atiam, thank you. Thank and you say thank much. you for Mama for coming with you as oh, well. Oh, yeah. yes, my PA, that one. <laughs> my everything, my A, you, you know the story. Yes, I know it all too well. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy this one. We're recording it on a Saturday, so check out some of the cars that are going to be reviewed. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not mention anything. No. Let's leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, Atiam. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Pratif. It's great. King, King David Studio Podcast.